Okay, here we go. Let me stop this here. Uh, stop this, stop this. Just listen to uh, Nina Simone, the Ballad of Hollis Brown. Uh, Nina, and Nina has so many songs, but a lot of songs, that, that was a protest song. Actually, it was the whole thing with Mississippi and Breast Farb and whatever Republican, the, the, the Republican KK party that runs the state of Mississippi. This is, uh, this, let me put it this way. Sometimes I just, I have to admit that sometimes, sometimes I do miss, I work for a thing called Peace Watch, which is a national program, right? Then another program I worked for before that was Democracy Now! And I was in charge of the music breaks, but I was an engineer, but I was in charge of the, the, the music breaks. And I would always try to find a song that would perfectly, how would you say, uh, well, oh, uh, perfectly caps, encapsulate sum up what they were talking for like 20 minutes and I only had a minute to do it but Hollis Brown would be one of those songs that I would I would probably use because I know a lot of songs um, anyway that's that's neither here nor there um, this is a special edition of uh, behind the scenes making of this is going to be a long one um, and I won't even I'll, I'll talk uh, as I go along perhaps um, but the first thing I do when, when I wake up you know I go do my little whatever I got to do it you know uh, bowel movement, all the rest of that stuff. But then, um, here, oh no, there's nothing. Go back there. Um, I have two phones. One I'm recording this on for, for my YouTube channel because YouTube channel is supposed to, when I first started, it's supposed, supposed to, it actually still does, um, sort of chronicles, like a, a, a memoir, a audio memoir. Let's put it that way. And, uh, and, and so I, I, uh, but then when Instagram came along, I've been doing it on Instagram. Then I started to to uh, post, uh, I guess what you call the making of my Instagram posts, right? Uh, and then I've said, well, if I'm doing Instagram, I don't really need to do my chronicle, my, my things like that. So what can I use Instagram for? I mean, what can I use uh, YouTube for? But YouTube, the thing about YouTube, you know, they, they archive my stuff. I guess they have to archive it, but so is Instagram, but it's a different way. But also with my YouTube, I get archived by, um, from um, uh, BitChute. So I have two places to archive it, you see? So I, I like to, stuff I like to put on uh, YouTube for, for, the, for the record. Right, and I'll tell you. Um, perhaps if I remember, I'll, I'll tell you as I walk what the record is. Now it's like a, a six twenty-five. Uh, at six, at six fifty-six is um, uh, well. Six a six twenty-six is what they call blue light. Uh, blue light is going to come up, and I usually start walking or start my morning routine in the blue light. Right, uh, and it's right before sunrise. Right, sunrise is at six fifty-six this morning, I believe. I think so. So I'm ready to, to take my walk, but I got to walk by music, and I always wake up at, the um, first thing I always play is Nina, so I, I got that, a uh, cut from Nina, so I got that cut from Nina, but then I go, oh, this way, and then I go to my other things, and my next one is usually I do a, a Marvin, what I'm going to do now, usually I do Marvin, and then I go to, uh, oh yeah, I guess I'll just do the Marvin, so I'll start playing Marvin right now. Uh, in fact, since I'm going to walk down the street there to my thing, then I'll play, uh, why not? I'll play, uh, uh, I Want You, the John Morales uh, mix like that. I don't know how this is going to work, because I'll be listening to myself here, and then I got to talk to you at the same time. Woo, how's that going to work? Anyway, so let's start our walk at 626 of this. We're right on time. Let me lower the volume here. Of course, you won't hear what I'm doing. But you're going to go with me on this journey. What I do in the morning, my morning walk. So I got to hold this in one hand because I got to change. I got to change to, um, well, you'll, you'll hear what, what, I, what I do. Okay. So let's start our morning walk. Oh, yeah. I got everything I need. And this morning I dressed, uh, well, I'll tell you about that later too. Ah. I love the morning. I love first light. It's my favorite time wherever I am on the planet. Oh, I always have my, uh, I carry my uh, my music, if you will. And I always wrap it in a, a little white face cloth. 
it's only, it's for safety, you know, so people can see some white, you know. Uh, but also, it's a uh, you know, sometimes I be walking. Sometimes I walk fast, start sweating, so I use it for a sweat towel too. Okay, so this is the street I walk down. This is the street when I'm in, uh, how you say, uh, in Virginia. Eh? We're in Chesapeake, Virginia right now. Hey, literally in Chesapeake. But Chesapeake is a huge place. I found that out the other day. Man, I went to the voting thing to, to register as a, you know, as a poll watch or something like that. Oh, that's going to be a long process. Let's see if that even happens. And uh, so that's at, that's at the other end of Chesapeake. A long time, a long way. Oh, listen, look at this blue light. It really is blue light. Oh, oh here's the street I'm walking down, just so you see. This uh, street I live on when I'm here in uh, Virginia. Now, I had this idea of walking, or rather recording my walk, because uh, um, my my brother, you know my my sister's husband. He uh, he has a you know, he has the man cave, and he be watching all kinds of things, you know, like mainly sports. But he uh, he has you you can get YouTube on that too. And uh, I think it was two days ago. It was two days ago. Uh, there was some on YouTube, and they were showing for some reason they went somebody or somehow they got this compilation. I, I don't know if it's around the country or whatever it is, but they showed the course the, the ghettos, <laughs> the the ghetto of of Portsmouth, which is we're gonna briefly hit Portsmouth. But you know, Chesapeake don't have too many ghettos. I don't know, but but Portsmouth the ghetto, I'm sure there's some ghettos. You know, you know, you know. I grew up in the projects, and it's called the Project Housing. It was a you know, prizing project housings, you know. So here they don't call them the projects, but they, uh, but they do call them the projects, I think. Anyway, so what happens is um, the, the cars or the, the, the vehicles just going around showing the, the ghetto. No sound. I mean, you know, they have a, I don't even think they had, there's no music. I don't think there's any talking really. And they just just show boarded up things, and it's uh, not very many people. I don't know when they recorded it, but that's all they do. And then I realize pe people it's like watching fish. You know, when I was in the Air Force in the dental clinic, there was this guy that ran the dental clinic, a sergeant, and he never wanted to go home. I guess you know he was. I don't know what was happening in his house. <laughs> But he would just sit there and watch the, and look at the fish in the fish tank for hours, you know, after his duty, after it was over. Because the dental clinic, clinic didn't stay open all night like the medic, like the, um, like the, uh, like dispensary where I worked. The dispensary had overnight, but dental clinic was only in daytime. So he would spend time after, you know, just watching the thing. It's watching fish. Very weird to me. Anyway, so I think it's the same thing with that. Uh, thing where you know you just look at YouTube and they're just showing <laughs> they just show somebody driving around the ghetto. Now I guess there are other things happening because I know Jim Froin, hey shout out to Jim Froin. I know he he watches this some channel that shows uh, they go to bird hides or whatever bird watches around the world. But usually they they have a blind in uh, South Africa, as a matter of fact. Interesting. Anyway, so there are a lot of things on YouTube. So when they're talking about social platforms, they want to ban this and ban that. They only talk about the spectacular stuff that they don't want you to, to know about because there's a lot of stuff on um you know, on the channels, you know, a lot of cooking stuff, a lot of gardening stuff, you know, farming or whatever have you. But uh, in an effort to control stuff, they would <laughs> try to control stuff. They want to to control it. They got to say, oh, it's just bad for children or it's doing this illegal or that illegal. And then they can control it. And I guess they feel some way about being the people that control stuff. <laughs> I mean, witness, you know, do the Clintons ever go away? That's just saw something on YouTube. But they, man, these people just never go away. They just sit down. <laughs> okay, I go off. So anyway, so this is, um, 
been walking for a little while here. Uh, I still have uh, the uh, I Want You Marvin Gaye in my ear uh, because he's, uh, well, it's like a nine minute cut. And from the house to where I'm going right now, it's uh, a little over 10 minutes, I guess. So I'm coming to the end because we're going to go to uh, my uh, walking path first. Oh, by the way, it's kind of interesting how things happen for me. Like, uh, so I th after seeing this this thing about the, the the ghetto, the ghetto, ghetto watch, ghetto watch, ghetto gazing, <laughs> I said, "Wow, let me just do my whole routine." But why do I want to do my whole routine? Well, as I said, my YouTube channel is for archival purposes only, and then I have this other thing happening. Um, and it has to do with my life. <laughs> uh, how can I put it? Let me put it this way. People don't listen to me. <laughs> really, people do not listen to me. I mean, I can tell you the amount of times that I talk to people and I give them advice or whatever have you. Free, I should charge, you know. And they, uh, and then they don't take the advice, of course. Months later, they'll come up to me and say, Anthony, man, I should have took your advice, blah, 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 blah. I'm going like, uh, uh, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> Don't help you now, you know? And then I realized, because of something that uh, my frat, bro, oh, frater by fraternity, see? <laughs> Got my pen and scroll shirt on. Pen and scroll, pen and scroll military fraternity, see that? Oh, see the whole thing, see that? Uh, the fraternity that I made when I was like, what, I was 15 years old? 16, yeah, 15 years old. Which is the proper age for initiations, by the way. I'll get into that some other time when I get back to Africa, tell you what's going on there. Anyway, Ron, he's known me for a long time. He, he grew up in the same pro Patterson projects, right? You know, my, you know, uh, at least my older brother and, uh, you know, just knew, knew the family. And he said something to me one time. I tell the story all the time because it was interesting. And I remember, because this was when we was, I guess maybe about the time he said this, I was about 19 or something like that. Anyway, we were we were out someplace. Uh, he had his, he was with his, his woman. I was with what eventually was my first wife. And we went camping and stuff like that. Anyway, so at that particular uh, thing, he said, um, you know, Anthony, uh, your interpersonal relationships <laughs> suck. Because <laughs> back, back in them days, you know, we used the word suck, you know, like that. Which means that it wasn't very, uh, <laughs> my interpersonal relationships weren't very, whatever they were. There's a cat right there. Can you see it? Let's see if it moves. I guess that's a cat. This is the walking part. You know, cats come out of Hey, you know, they say the early bird catches the worm, you know, and the early cat catches the bird. I'm the cat. <laughs> um, the cats are always out early. You know, cats kill more, more, more birds than, you, than people realize. Learned that a long time ago. Okay, so, uh, so I just played Marvin and we heard Nina. And now I got to play... Uh, let me stop for a second so I put this down and I can hit um, Fowley Simpson. Love woke me up this morning. I particularly like that song. Uh, I like the way Valerie Simpson, the Valerie Sim sings it because she's what her and, and the guys would do. They had a, uh, how do you call that? The uh, composers, the writers of the song. So uh, I used to do that. And sometimes I play it as uh, Marvin and Tammy sang it. A lot of, because it's Motown, Motown, a lot of people sang it in Motown. I don't know if Brenda Holloway sang it, but I know that the Supremes sang it, the Temptations sang it. Well, the Supremes without Diana Ross. Uh, a bunch of people, you know, they sing these songs, they they pass them around. Um, so that's what, let me, I'm trying to get to this bench so I can put the uh, phone down. See, oh, you don't see. See, this is the pathway here with a walking park that they made. It's like a, talk about ghetto, 
Beyond there, where you see the cars coming there, there's a ghetto community. A lot of poor people there. See some more houses back this way. Uh, oh, here's a little park for the kitties, right? And this is what I don't like about these folks, man. Like, you know, there's a trash can right there. Why do they leave a, a thing? Mike's Lemonade Hard Cider. I guess it's alcohol. So why do they leave it right there in the trash can right there? What they have to do is go and throw it in the trash can. I don't know. So, oh, here's a cap too. Get rid of, I just saw a spider jump off of that. Throw that away too. Oh, okay. Let me put it here. Just a second. Go and tap this garbage can here. Just gotta change the music. Hold on, be right back. See, I, I put my thing on airplane mode so I can, uh, so you know, I don't get any, you know, I guess I could get uh, phone calls and stuff like that, I guess. I'm not really sure. Never had one. Nobody calls me this early in the morning anyway. So, come on. Where's Valerie? She's coming up, coming up. There's Valerie. See? I don't know if you see that. Love of, okay, you can't see it. See with the big, where, where is that? Oh yeah, right there with the big afro. Oh, you can't see it though. So I hit that. So I get me a little Valerie in the morning. I should, I should go up to a restaurant and try to see her. I shouldn't do that, you know. I'm not like, I'm not that kind of person. I'm not that kind of fan, you know what I mean? But, uh, so then, this will play. Then I might play something else and then I'll get into my hour or whatever, hour and a half or whatever cut that I don't have to keep on changing, you know? That's on my thing. Because I gathered all these, they're in my, well, you know, the song, they don't, I don't have the internet on, so it doesn't, nothing gets interrupted, you know? Uh, so now we come to this part. Like I said, this is a walking thing. This is the path here. You walk the path, see this here? Look at that. Those are the ants. And those, I guess, are worms or whatever it is. And uh, they're eating. I guess the early, the early worm gets eaten by the ants if it don't get eaten by the birds. And the cat gets the rest. Look at these things. Those are ants eat eating. Look at that. So I don't know what the deal is. All these worms, they come off the grass and I guess they, I don't know. I don't know if the ants kill them, <laughs> but there's a lot of them. If the ants kill them or they, whatever. Now, I particularly like to come here early. These are two sheds. Now you can have picnics or whatever it is. Have a grill. I used to like to come up here or like early like this because I, uh, you know, sometimes people come and you know, the early people come, they maybe smoke in the place or something like that. Smoke, you know, uh, a joint or something like that. Got my little thing right there. Now, this is my first stop when I leave. Now, I'll keep the music playing, but I'll show you what I do here. Maybe if you can see. Uh, come a little closer. And here was I do my first loosen up thing, right? I should put this. I should do the other side because these guys. Nah, I don't care. I use this one here. So I have the pole here. Now I give it a. Let me do it this other side because of, this is the east over that way. That's the east, and of course the sun is coming up in the east. And it's uh, like I said, I put the. Uh, there we go. So you can see a little bit better. See what I do is so, and then uh, heck, let me bring this music over a second. Uh, um, Valerie is finishing up, so now what I should do 
No, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna play, uh, uh, play Greg Porter. Greg Porter, uh, Liquid Spirit. I particularly like that song. Come on. I like this by itself there, right there. Greg Porter. I don't know if you've seen this. Greg Porter. Liquid Spirit is six minutes. So, <laughs> oh. Okay, but I got to do my my first uh, w little warm up. Do my my back and my 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 calves does this. Yeah. I grabbed this thing because of my hamstring. When I was taking capoeira, this this is in the nineties. They had a we had a guy a physical therapist who was part of in, in in the class, and you know he said I had the tightest hamstrings he's ever known. <laughs> you know they ain't got much better, so I have to work my hamstrings all the time. I'll get it one of these days. Anyway, so stick for my hamstrings. Okay, then I usually go to, there's another one, another pillow over here. Then I go go over to the other one. Same thing. I love this song. It's a jam. Or, or, or as we used to say in so this is my jam. Okay, sorry. Let me get back to exercise here. And then I do it. These are all like uh, my theories is you, you, you spark the body. You know what I mean? And then what happens is the body says, oh, that's what you want to do, and it starts helping you. You know what I mean? So you don't do everything real quick, right? So this, uh, I do a, a, a tiny bit of Qigong, usually. That last bit is not really Qigong. It's like sh it's called shadow yoga. I did, I've done a lot of little things in my life, but I like I particularly like shadow yoga a lot. A little shadow yoga. Then I do a little. Well, it's where you you peck your right there where your hips are like that. Then you got to go around the back and hit the the smaller your back. So I do it like this. Then I'll do this. This is back to Qigong. What happens with, with this is that you're, you're sending vibrations to your, basically into your uh, your bones where your, what do you call that? Your uh, red blood cells uh, emanate from. So you're sort of spurring your new red blood cells like that. I'll do that some more. Come all the way down to my leg. Again, you don't have to do a lot because what happens is your body is saying like, oh, that's what you want to do and your body is working inside. So you're doing the outside to work your inside. When I used to massage people, I won't get into that, but when I used to massage, do massage, I used to say, look, you know, when you feel it inside and basically I massage your outside and need you to massage yourself inside. You know, it's a mental thing. Okay, and then uh, just a little bit of this. Now this is going to be repeated It's going to be repeated uh, another time. Then, because, like I said, I work on my legs, like things. So, put my thing up on the 
this is like benches, you know. And I just do a little tiny stretch. No, I don't want to hurt myself. A little tiny stretch. Again, these things are not, I'm not trying to, uh, trying to loosen myself up, but I'm not trying to uh, be some sort of great stretch maestro, since I do this every day. Sorry. Oh, man. The thing is, I'll tell you about it later. Oh, part of this walking, I guess you would say, is, and then when I do that, this little bit of stuff, you know, just to, whatever. Again, look, I got, got garbage here and I got garbage cans right there. I never understood that. Man, look at those guys. C cycle of life. And then I walk. Walking the path there. Now here's where I change a little bit. Okay, I got my Greg Reporter. Well, I'm, I'm listening to something. Here we go. Keep, keep you going this way. I usually don't get, uh, I haven't had a lot of mucus lately, but I got some right now, so. Spit in the glass. But this interesting. I haven't had... I guess because uh, I've been I've been doing like fruit in the morning. Like I don't, I might do some water when I wake up, but I haven't did it this morning. Usually you should do uh, hot water and, and lemon, whatever have you. But since uh, my bowel movements have been great every morning and you know, I'm going like two, three times a day. <laughs> Cause I do just fruit in the morning and then eat later on. It's basically one meal a day. Well, two if you consider the fruit a meal. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, oh, see this here, this is the half court basketball court here. You see, got that. So I walk this court. Too bad I don't have my other thing that I lost in Washington, D.C. So I'm basically going to see the court there. So I'm basically going to walk the court. Uh, but here's where I'm going to sit here. Here's where I now pick out. Oh, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. So maybe I should do, uh, I'll do some. I like DJ Spivey. He's got uh, Beyond Measure, uh, Gospel House Mix. I love Gospel House as far as, you know, dance goes. And then he has the thing to reprise next. So the Gospel House Mix is um, one, uh, 174. Well, that's uh, an hour and what, uh, whatever, an hour and to 20 minutes, right? And then the other one is 57, so it's say an hour. So basically here is, well, two and a half hours, I don't know, whatever it is. You do the math. So I'll play this, and this is what I'll, I'll walk on for the rest of the time. So I'm gonna, I'll just put this in my pocket, keep on walking. So let's do the first walk around. See, um, I was also trained in theater. What we, if you ever do, well, at least the way I was trained, you know, when you when you do your warm-up first week, you, you get to rehearsal with everything uh, early than you're supposed to. But when you start, you usually start, you know, we do circles. We walk around in circles just to walk and loosen people up. That's what I do right now. So put beyond measure. There we go. Okay. I hope you all can see me. I don't know what's going to happen. Just uh, enjoy the, 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 the whatever you're going to enjoy, right? Here we go.
Okay. So that's that court. That half court. Is there no, let me not. This is my bottom here. And then I walk over here to the other court. The other half court. I guess they purposely didn't make it a, a full court, then hey, I don't know why they didn't make it a full court. But uh I like these two half of courts. Then I walk over to this side. In fact, I'll put this here so you see another angle of what I'm doing. Let's see if I can. Can you see the whole court this way? Yeah. Yeah, you can see the whole court. So you may be able to catch everything I'm doing here. The ants here. Hope they don't climb to my thing. Yeah, let me leave it at this level, the third level. And I usually, because I have, this is Bluetooth, so I usually just leave the, uh, there's a bench over there, I usually leave this on, but I'll leave it here today. Okay, I'm doing the same thing I did the last, last over there. When I go to the basketball thing, I do my, uh, what do you call that? Uh, my, my stretches like that, that I started over there, okay?
Okay. So now I can try to put this in my pocket. So that hand will be free while I carry you with me. Okay, wait a second. A little hook here. Okay. There we go. So I'm finished with this part, the quartz. So I do this like, uh, oh, that's this appropriate, um, uh, going back to Penisco or the, the Cadet Corps. Penisco comes out of New York's Mission Society, Cadet Corps. And um, so it's like a paramilitary kind of thing, you know, because you're not, not it's para, I want to, oh, I mentioned the Boy Scouts, like the Boy Scouts, you, know, you learn all that kind of stuff. But you're like in military, you know, you wear the, we had brown uniforms, you know, all, all the rest of that stuff. And, we would march, you know, you learn march formation. Uh, we had everything. I was a basketball coach, you know. All I, 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 I taught gymnastics for a while because high school, I, I did gymnastics high bar, you know, so I taught uh, high bar. Um, um, and then, but, you know, it's because we were military, we learned to march, you know, you know, stomach in, chest out, marching. So what I realized when I do these morning walks, I'm really big going back to my childhood, like eight years old, nine years old, you know. I joined the cadet when I was nine, yeah. So we're, uh, we're what is a march, you know? You go, you know, when you're in the military, you go, your lip, your lip, your lip, right lip. Well, you're basically, you're dancing. <laughs> it's a dance. That's why when you see those movies with the drill sergeants, they're doing all these cute little numbers, they're singing. And they're really dancing if you really want to look at it. That's why we say if you could walk, you can dance or whatever have you. Now, here's what's interesting. I get to this part here. See, it's a low hanging thing. You might get there. Then I turn around and I start walking backwards. First time I start walking backwards on this path. Now, sorry, good, good part of the music here. Man, the reason why I like, I like gospel house the most is because of the voices, you know? The preachers, the, the authentic voices, you know? Just amazing, you know? And usually they, they don't have like, well, they used to be. But just authentic voices. Well, anyway, I walked backwards. I started this a long... It's interesting because at this particular point in my life, I'm drawing on things that's happened that I've been exposed to, that I learned in my life, and sort of applying it at different times. They, they, it just comes to me, and I just go ahead and, and do it. Like, um, like, even these pants that I got, these these things that I'm wearing right now, right? I forgot where I got them a long time ago. And they just happened to match this, 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 and they match that. I don't, <laughs> I come from a line of uh, fashion mavens. People don't know it by me, but all my stuff is real quality. And it, it's, I only have one or two of it, right? And like, people, well, anyway, the point is, uh, we, we always had to match up, you know, you leave in the house, and you, <laughs> you get something that's out, out toward, my grandma said, where you going with that on? Get there, change your clothes, you know, so she, and she was, ooh, they used to dress for, them. man, that women in the 40s and the 50s, woo, they knew how to wear clothes, they knew how to make clothes and wear clothes, whoo, amazing. Interestingly enough, my wife, she's a African, she's a designer. She's from Africa. Her eye is really interesting. Man, I, I appreciate so much. She's made stuff for me that's so unique. People say, what's that? Woo, woo, woo. How do you get that? Wow. Uh, maybe we get the internet going. You also get some of the stuff. Anyway, back to the point. So I spent some time in Delray Beach, Florida, one snowbird season. That's a whole other long story. And I used to uh, get up 4.30 in the morning and go to the go to the beach, walk to the beach, like a 20 minute walk. And uh, I turned around here. And I, I would uh, do my prayer and meditation with first light, with sun, sun's coming up. And then I would, uh, uh, I would run the beach. I run backwards a lot, you know. So, like I said, these little things, but I do it back because 
you know, my theory is this. You're working different kinds of muscles, you see? And because you're working different kinds of muscles, uh, it can only be beneficial, right? I guess. I don't, it's only a theory. But since I could do it, I just go ahead and do it. So at points, I, I do it. So I'm leaving this. See? This is the park right there. Park rules. Sunrise. I was there a little bit before sunrise. Car leaving here. Let me run across thing here. It's a Saturday. It's a Sunday morning, so there shouldn't be a whole lot of people, a whole lot of traffic on the road. Yeah, I know. You say, well, brother, shouldn't you have one of those things that steady cam or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't expect to be walking and, and doing like this. I don't really do that kind of things. So there you go. And now with this, with this walk in the morning, you know, like I said, I'm really marching. And at times I just dance. They come to a, a good groove. Now just... I keep my walking, dance, but not right now. Okay, so um, there's churches all around, like this right here, this thing right here, that's a church. <laughs> I guess they'll show up sooner or later like that. This little thing, oh, this is a very famous images club, see? 30 years since 1991. Well, I guess it's 31 right now. And, um, I, you know, it's, it's, you know, clubs now, I'm an old guy. I can't be, I can't be going to the clubs, you know, because everybody's trying to hook up. I'm not trying to hook up with nobody. But, like, what I wanted, what I like to do is on Thursdays, because they're like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, okay, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they're open. The big nights is Saturday night, Friday night, right? And Thursday, the guy told me that what they do there, usually on Thursdays they have, um, they used to have like line dancing, some, some, something like that. But like the age range is really from early, from 30s to about, I guess, 50s, in your 50s, like that. But what I like to do, they have really good fried chicken. Not that I'm advocating fried chicken, but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do it when I come. Oh yeah, we can still eat. I can still eat the uh, regular thing. Anyway, so um, I like to do I like that go go Thursday early before everybody comes in, get fried chicken, just be in the club. Nobody's nobody's there. Eat my fried chicken and then leave. Oh, there's this old guy here who's always looking for getting high in the morning with his uh, things. <laughs> Hey, it's, it's, uh, bro, you got a light on. Hey. Nah, they don't want. They, they don't want. They, they don't. You know they don't want you in there. Nah, I can you know they don't want you in there, man. You got a light. Okay, bless you. This guy, he's always trying to get into that store or hustling something like that. I'm not into it. Now, here's a. Yeah, it's the barbershop. He's celebrating something. 17 years. There you go. Now, this guy, I went to him one time. But, uh, well, like that. But, you know, they have a swearing job. Like that. I ain't going to no black barbershop, black men barbershop, where you can't curse. Don't get me wrong. Look, I understand what you're doing, you know, but that, nah, I'm sorry. I don't curse. I don't curse. I don't advocate. Well, I don't, I don't advocate any advocate or not advocate. This is the way through to my main walk through the cemetery. And uh, no, nah, man, I'm not with it, man. It's not an authentic black barbershop if you can't curse, you can't signify, whatever have it, you know. Sorry, just, just, just not my thing. Don't get me wrong. This everything for every something for everybody. Oh, so this is this is where I'm going to be this morning. This is my big thing. Oh, so I usually come through this way, back way. Oh, hey. Hey! Okay, wait, wait, no. I'm not supposed to be dancing, I'm supposed to be exercising. Sorry about that. So here I do my, my leg stretch that I did over in the park to, oh. Just like I said, I only do it to hint at the body, say, look, this is what we want. 
whatever it is. So I come in through here, then I start my walk. Oh man, but this is so good. Say make a joyful noise, sorry about that. Okay, now this hip wood here, I can walk backwards for this one here, but if you notice, there are, see these, this is like geese poop. So I try to avoid that. So sometimes I walk backwards, sometimes I don't. I don't, I think I'll walk straight this one here. Okay, so this is the cemetery. American flag up there. See? So anyway, it's a cemetery. Now, I like to say this is a cemetery rather than a graveyard, because I think a graveyard, I think the tombstone's up like that. But this is like a very, it's amazing place. To me, it is, right? But this is where I walk. It takes about an hour, a little bit over an hour to walk this, usually the way I walk it. So I come that way, and then I take this path here, this road. These green like tents that you see, that's where there's gonna be a, a, a grave site, so somebody, there's gonna be a, a ceremony, you know, a freshly dug grave, I guess. See, very nice, you know. And since and I, I don't actually meet other walkers here, I guess people do walk, but they don't come out early, I suppose. I don't know. But it's the perfect walking for me. No traffic, peaceful. <laughs> and the thing is, um, I found out in the uh what's it Egyptian whatever it is uh, the my uh, sign my, I'm a Cancerian my sign in the Egypt or whatever the <laughs> astrology is uh, the guy that basically takes the takes the people nobility whatever to the to the afterworld escorts them to the afterworld now that might not mean nothing to you but the way I deal with grave sites is, um, or cemeteries, I walk backwards. So it's like, I'm coming to you, then I walk backwards. The only thing is sometimes I hit those, uh, those, goose, those goose things, but they're sort of rubbery. They don't really stick on your feet. So, anyway, so I will usually walk backwards out of these paths. I go into the path, then I walk backwards out of the path. When I come near to the end, I just turn. <laughs> and then I'll go up this one here. But this is this is interesting when I found out about the Egyptian, I guess, it, I forgot what it's called. Uh, I got it written down, you know. Uh, the, the cancer, the, 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 it's, the, it's the one with the, um, is it the falcon, it's a, with the bird head, or the, I think it's the falcon, or something like that with the human body. And the, the one, the one when you go to the when you go to the afterlife, and they weigh, they put a feather on one scale, and you, <laughs> and your deeds on the other scale, and they better balance out. You know what I mean? I guess I don't know, something like that. So I'm the cat that does that, and then you know I leave. So I got I flip backwards. But more interesting to me is that if you know in the Yoruba culture, Oya is in charge of the the graveyard, at least the things above the grave. <laughs> and uh, Oya is is Ogun's first wife. First wife, only wife, I guess. Ogun's wife. I gotta go to John Mason. I gotta get a book on When I get back to New York, I gotta get a book on Ogun. And oh, some more interesting things on Ogun. So in a way, it all fits. As a, as a, as a uh, child of Ogun, that always means that Oya is like my wife and we both, and then in the in the Egyptian culture or whatever, I forgot what they call it really, uh, 
that I lead people to the afterworld, somehow there's a hookup there. It's interesting, all these things sort of, it is my sneaky suspicion because of just the way she is. I think my wife is actually a child of Oya, but I'm not sure. One of these days I'll get her read. But I only, I only, I only trust one person for reading, and that's my spiritual advisor. So I don't know if that's going to happen because she's in the States. She has no interest in coming to the States. One of these days, I guess she'll have to come. And uh, then people have to see her. Then they all freak out. So here's oh, I start walking back. Now, see, there's no, there's really not a lot of goose uh, poo. <laughs> and things I usually walk backwards here on the thing here. And like I said, since nobody comes, there's no traffic. Hey, I'm here alone. Beautiful sky. Look at that. Oh, see the, see the sky? This is first light. This is like my favorite time at all time. Ooh, I love the morning. You know, when they had that commercial about the army, you know, we do more before nine o'clock. That was like me, you know. And I wasn't in the army. I'm just saying that's. I understand that slogan. I get a lot of stuff done. I can get a lot of stuff done. Writing, reading, whatever it is. And then I can actually take a nap. <laughs> if I want to, I can take a nap. But usually I wait till the afternoon to take a nap. Yesterday, for some reason, I went to sleep. I don't know, I went to sleep and I was, I usually take a nap for an hour or something like that. Man, I slept for like two and a half hours or something like that. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. So, excuse me, I'm, I'm talking to you, but I'm here. <laughs> I got some some slamming tunes in here. But, you know, we're on YouTube, so I want to put no slamming tunes. Well, I don't even know how I always do that. Mm -hmm. So I just follow the um, thing around. Now I'm coming to a thing here. This is sort of interesting. Again, my next path, I go up and back. Here we go. I walk up this path here. Not a whole lot of geese poo on this one. There's geese poo there. There's a European Jesus. Now notice he's got, this says got three lambs, right? One, two, three. And I saw this the other day. Was it this one? No, I think it was this one here. It was like a line in the end. I posted it, posted it. So I'm gonna put this here. Cause I do, so I put again, put my up. I put my uh, feet up a little. Whew, I gotta put it up high on this one. Woo. <sighs> and I go over to the other side and do the same thing. Woo, didn't quite make it. I gotta put the heel up. There you go. This one's tighter than the, than the, this left leg is tighter than the right leg. And then of course, I go backwards. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something at that, see that tree right there? You're gonna see me circle it. Well, let me let me go on down there. I'll get closer. I'm gonna put you down. Okay, so let me put this down here. I guess you can see the tree there. 
Yeah. So you can see me, what I do is I circle tree. There's a, well, you'll see. Okay, so this thing here, I'm about to show you to when I come back. Because I come back uh, this other way. So now, my next thing, whoops, sorry, go up there. Now I'll go up this path here. And I'll walk straight up the path. Oh, these are, these are all, well, you know, uh, plastic flowers. It's quite nice, though. When they, they use the balloons, too, the kind of, they think the balloons kind of a lazy thing, but, you know, they, whatever it is. Oh, this is interesting. I'm going to show you something. I've been walking here for about a month. So, for at least a little bit more than a month. So look at this, you see this? Trash here. Now, this bottle of soda, right, has been here, at least it, it appeared about a week after I started walking. And uh, I had told one worker about it when he was over there. He looked at me like I was an alien or something like that, you know, from out of space, you know. and. Um, and never got moved. So now they got a grave thing right there. I wonder when I see, when I come tomorrow, sometimes tomorrow being Monday, sometimes I don't do Monday because it's my, whatever they now probably do tomorrow. Um, see if they clean this up. Now I was gonna just, you know, do it myself. But I said, no, these people cut grass all the time. They, nobody can see that. The, the whip. Man, I think it's like, I don't know what I think it's like. Talk about aliens, it's kind of interesting. You know, I think it's quite interesting when they announce the Space Force, right? Because that's be another military thing. And all of a sudden they say, oh yeah, they are UFOs and we gotta, we gotta have a Space Force to do what? <laughs> you think you're gonna battle some people that can come here from wherever they come from? Are you gonna win? So obviously it's a money grab. Another way is to take your money. Uh, or, or to take wealth and do something with it. Convince people, whatever they gotta convince people. Kinda interesting. But I digress. Actually, I do digress. What I, what I do in the mornings, when I do these walks, this, this particular one, this mix here has a lot of vocals to it. But uh, a lot of times I'm walking without vocals. And I'm, just, I'm thinking, I just constantly think, I'm thinking all the time anyway. Just thinking, so I don't know. It's the way it goes. It's my thinking time in the morning. Oh, okay. So um, again, I'm backwards walking because I'm trying to. Uh, you can, I can feel my back muscles, my back lower back muscles, doing that thing. You know, and I sort of like that. The only thing I'm missing right now. As I really do. Oh, I shouldn't say this. Oh, look at the geese. See them flying? Yeah. That's uh, so right. I usually try to get here early enough so I don't run into the geese. One time I came, I saw a fox running around here. Yeah, there's foxes around here. They're building a big casino 
over around where my, close to where my niece is, by a Tidewater Community College and when it's up here in Portsmouth. And uh, they've been a huge casino there. Oh boy, anything to separate you from your money. So, uh, uh, and, there, and that, there was a wooded area. There's a lot of foxes in there too. So I don't know what's gonna happen with them, them critters. Okay, so I come to this one here. It's another one I walk up. But this one here, this one here, I don't, uh, I don't do a, a stretch. Let's go back and go back. And walk backwards. Sometimes I don't walk back. So I'm just, depends what the path looks like. Ooh, it, it's been a, the, the temperature in the morning is pretty good. But as soon as that sun starts coming up, you can feel the sweat. Here I go, going this way down. Again, walk backwards. They're playing optimis optimistic right now, you know, like uh, um, Sounds of Blackness, optimistic, you know, keep your head to the sky. As long as you keep, be optimistic as long as you keep your head to the sky. It's interesting because I think one of the things, uh, let me put this way, for the last, I don't know how many years, for the last about three years, I've been really intense, really getting very intense on learning all about me. So, f I mean, going deep, deep into me, what I call it, you know, the third infinity me, you know. <laughs> and so every little bit I can get about, you know, me, when I say like, like, um, well, just came out of spiritual period, like spirituality and like that, I always connect them together. Um, and so it's been quite interesting. I would advise you all. Yeah, I mean, I know everybody wants to, or like uh, when I play Marvin and Moore, piece of clay is what I play. Uh, you know, it's like everybody wants to be, they, they want their own piece of clay to shape somebody, shape somebody. Well, uh, I don't know about shaping somebody, but you you can shape yourself first. See that path? We'll get to that later. Hate all the paths. So um, part of this process, what I've been doing, is just learning so much about myself. And since I'm alone, you know, basically I'm doing that, doing doing the, the tiger thing, doing the ogun thing, <laughs> uh, the metal tiger thing. You know, in Chinese astrology, I'm metal tiger. Uh, it's been like, uh, I won't say liberating, but it's been uh, quite, um, it, 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 it's, it's like forge. It's like, you know what it is? It's like uh, when they make those uh, those samurai swords and you, or any sword, you sort of fold it and bend it. Keep, so I keep on discovering things, folding and, and beating, folding and beating and folding and beating. So that's what's really happening. It's the same piece of metal, me. Then I go up this thing. So what happens is I, I keep on folding, learning more myself, and, and, and when you beat, you beat the impurities out. Let's put it that way. So my little thing that I've been doing for the last few years since the pandemic, and even going back, is more and more and more and more. And um, going back to what uh, Ron Mason has said, is that uh, individual relationships be like people don't listen to me, but in groups, like that. So I'm very anxious to get back to South Africa because I have a group there, a group of young men that I'm, uh, I guess the word they use is influence in these days, but I, I'm just sort of like a guidance counselor. It's like, it's like I, you don't have to listen to what I'm saying. It don't matter to me like that. So that's what's happening. Ooh, I feel so good. You know, usually I'm not talking <laughs> when I'm doing this, and uh, but it's it's like a, a a joyousness that I that I feel when I do this. Oh, here we go. I walk up this way. Well, I gotta hold this this way to see me better, I guess. Okay, 
And as you can see, I don't wear uh, glasses, uh, sunglasses. I have sunglasses and uh, tinted glasses and the ones that, you know, change or whatever have you. But not in the morning. I want to get that first light. Uh, and I heard, learned some long time ago, something about, um, but that's how the melanin gets uh, produced through the sun. Because <laughs> we the sun people. <laughs> We're sun people. So enjoy the sun. So when you have these black people, these, and some of these, well, in West Africa, they have this a lot. <laughs> these folks, they just don't want to be black. <laughs> Bleaching their skin, whatever have you. Have at it. My thing is, I don't want to tell anybody what to do anymore. Ever. Let me keep on walking. There we go. Because you can't. You can't tell somebody what to do. Like I learned this a long time ago. I say this all the time. When somebody gets past nine years old, you can't tell them nothing. You may be telling them something, digging they're listening, and, and they're reacting. <laughs> Either they, they may not be listening. That's the whole point. So the only thing you do is be an example. I guess. So, if people know that I do this walk all the time, I might say people like people close to me, they can do the walk too. Well, you can't do it with me because I like to, I like my solitude. I like to, it's like, a, it's like, a, like I said, I'm a, in, the, in the Chinese system, I'm a metal tiger. So I like to prowl by myself. So I walk up this little path here. Nice clean path. I guess they own all of this back here too. Then I walk backwards again. Ah, beautiful morning sun. So day has begun. Dun, dun, dun. And then, but I, I, I actually do like the, uh, some of the messages. That's the thing about house music. See, house music is based in the church, you know, but therefore the code is sort of different. It's not, it's not, there's no cursing in house music. I mean, you know, like, well, gospel house, but there's no cursing in house music, you know? There's no, you know, machi well, I guess it might be machismo, machismo and everything. But it's a joyous thing because it comes from gospel. It's like a code. So it's a joyous coat. And that's what I like about it. It's as far as my dance goes, you know. There's other forms. My favorite, as far as talking about spiritual music. Oh, I got this too, man. Man, Malumbo music. Dr. Philip Taboni. Man, Malumbo music. Look it up. Ma Lambo. <laughs> my Lambo. Malambo music. Man, I love that music. I got it on my phone. I listen to it. Okay, back this. Ooh, change hands. Okay. Okay. I've been fortunate because, um, you know, I'm not a, a musician or something like that, but I've known a lot of, been exposed to a lot of great music. I mean, everybody from Andre Watts, you know, to Nita Simone. <laughs> to Nell Young, Nell's coming uh, at the end of the week, so. We come to New York, so I gotta get up to New York for that. Hopefully, I don't trust this Carter Institute people. You gotta check that out. Writing some emails. Okay, so um, I don't want to say that we're halfway done, but yeah, we're about halfway done with the cemetery. But this is not the all we're gonna do this morning. I don't think. I'm gonna take you on a long tour. Oh yeah, we've been going about it just on this. So if you say that 
it took about 20 minutes. No, it took about a half hour in the the walking circle, the walking park there. And this, this has been going like an hour and 10 minutes. So, so I've been going back an hour and a half already, you see? And so usually I try to go, well, hour and a half. Sundays, Sundays because of the way it is, then I'm... Then I try to go, well, I don't try to go anything. What I do is I just play music and I walk. It depends on how I feel, you know what I mean? Because um, I can always like, finish, the, finish the cemetery here and then go back. Uh, but this time, I think I'm gonna show you a little longer thing that I do because it is Sunday, it's less traffic. I don't like to deal with the traffic. <laughs> okay, this is another place I go. Now it's important that you take rest, well I say rest stops, not rest stop, but um, I'm gonna say breaks, something like that. So I go up here, go up here, I'm going here, going to that bench right there. Now this is something I'm gonna do at this bench that I usually do at that first bench that we came in, the first marble bench that we came in to the cemetery, but um, I didn't I didn't do it this time, but I'm gonna do it now. Okay. I'll sit here. Now usually, usually what I do is I take the, uh, the, the white thing out and I put it down and I sit on that. Let's see if I can put, you know, because I don't want to, whatever my piece is then. Move this back a little bit more. If you can see it better. I'm going to put my hand behind her like that. And one behind my back, small on my back. And I go back. I change. It's important. Uh, and that, then I go forward. Trying to straighten the back. Chain. Like that. Now it's important when you do this here like this, that you put your eyes up. Your eyes go up. You'll feel it. You feel the difference between when you do it without putting your eyes up, straight straight your eyes all the way up, and just keeping it front, right? Because somehow the eyes somehow go through the whole body. It's like a massage, you know, like that. So I do that, well, I do that. Again, a lot of stuff I'm doing, since I do it all the time, I don't want to get um, too grooved into it, you see? And so what I'm trying to do is just say in the body, this is what I need, this is what I need, and the body has to make its its uh, adjustments, right? It takes some time, you know? Everybody wants to have a, a goal. I don't have a goal, I have a journey. I thought I'd throw that out to you. So this is my journey. Okay. Get walking backwards. I think that's that's really important. I, I, well, it's important to me. People one they 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 set goals or times or whatever have you, and then they try to meet that. And if they don't meet it, they get upset. I don't know why they get upset. They're the ones that said it. Anyway, or they say they haven't accomplished whatever have you. When is you, you just say, well, my goal is to live. <laughs> and whatever along the way is, is happening, I'll address it. I'll enjoy it. I'll live it. You know? I'm not going to plan it. Miss you. May I submit it? God, I miss you. Oh, sorry. Sing along to the song now. Okay, there we go. And it's so nice to have the trees. It's like, you see, in South Africa, there's a lot of mountains, you know? At least where I am. Um, so, to see instead of mountains, to see trees, it's kind of interesting, <laughs> I think. Of course, I grew up in the Bronx, where we got trees and hills. <laughs> okay, Bisha. Okay. 
now I'll go around here. I'll get to that later. There's few paths I don't go up, like the one in the, the front of the or chapel you see. But here, I didn't used to go up this path here. But um, then I said, uh, I go, so I did. For some reason, this is like a, a more of a military path to me. So I immediately straighten up. This is interesting. So I come here. Look at this one here. This is interesting. They got to get here as a uh, bus. He was a builder, I guess, like that. Oh, yes, praying. Okay, here's one. I guess he was. They got a saw, and a and a hammer, and a whatever thing, a painter there. Interesting. I and I guess this is a non-denominational cemetery because I guess that's a, a Muslim thing right there. Some of these things are very. Uh, Now, for this one, I usually don't back up. I usually turn around and go f f straight when I leave this one here. Because I'm looking at this statue in the middle here. That's where I'm headed now. There's four things to the statue. And that's where, that's where we're headed. Mm -mm. Here we go. <laughs> Peaceful Sunday morning. Usually about this time now, the work is starting, the regular weekdays or even Saturdays, the work is start showing up. So I guess they have Sunday morning as well. Nah, come by here. Come by here. Kumbaya. <laughs> okay, then I'm here at this statue here. Like this one here. Again, I'm here and I do. And then here, sometimes I back up on this one, but this morning I think I'm just gonna walk front. Cause I feel like walking front. I mean walking, uh, interestingly enough, because there's different terrains that we have here. Well, you see there's one terrain here, but you see when I leave later, it'll be a different terrain. And if you really concentrate on your walking, then you, you can like walk with your stomach, you know what I mean? Or walk with your, walk with your chest. You can, you can, like inside in your body, you can walk with your legs. And you do not like your legs or your calves, they say, or your, your legs, is your second heart. So you should, really should be 
walking a lot more because that's how you work out your second heart. <laughs> like that. This is that same statue. I come to this part here. Again, I do my little stretching. Now there's a, I don't know if I'm gonna do it, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it today, but um, I do my floor work. Well, I'm, I say I'll do it today, I'm not gonna show you. I do my floor work, on my mat, but I haven't really been doing it down here a lot. Then we go back this way. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, now this is this is the I guess is the chapel, um, and this is the only path. Well, maybe not the only one. Yeah, but it's the only one that I don't walk up this path here. I don't know why. I just don't. Then I go around here. Now I did two, two, two sides of the statue already. Now here's where we change up a little. Do my other path here. Sunday, not just Sunday. Okay. So now, let me come to this other thing. I think I'm gonna put this thing down. So again, you're not gonna see much of you today. We're not gonna be shaking for a while, let's put it that way. Little birdies, birds flying, birds flying high. You know how I feel. Okay. Okay, so now we come here. Now, this one, I'm gonna leave you for a while. You may have made up, you see everything I do, but I'm gonna walk these things here too. Let me see where this is at, yeah. You may be able to see the whole thing that I do, who knows. But I'll be back.
there's a car. There's a car. First car of the morning. Uh oh. I think we're coming to the uh, end of my uh, music. Got it too. Oh, here we go, here we go. So this is the third side of this statue. <laughs> this man and a woman statue. And they're not too big, so I guess it's back in the day when people were like, I'm, I'm short, I'm like short. I'm not short, I'm me. I'm 5'8". And I think, I think the... The, the the American mean average. I know you see a lot of tall people that have it. It's like five five seven. You know, what I mean? so right there. But it also, if you look around the world, I'm like a very good size for travel because I'm not too tall and I'm not too short. So in some cultures, you know, people are not gonna whatever, whatever, whatever. And I learned so oh, I, I, long time ago. Well, let me do this first. I think I'm coming to the end of this thing here. I think what I might do, go back with here, go back us for a little while. What I might do, and let this run out so I get to my spot where I do my sitting, my little pose. I'll see what happens. If you can, you should try this backwards walk and it's kind of interesting. You use a different set of muscles. Or at least when you're running, I mean, run the beach. That way if you fall on, you fall, you fall on sand, you know what I'm saying? Got a ways to go here. Do this path. Cause like I was saying, so uh, I learned this, there was a thing that said that uh, like street dogs, street dog can't be so too big or too small. There's certain range, you know what I mean? It's kind of interesting, don't you think? Oh, well, I thought it was kind of interesting. When I first started traveling, it was really interesting because people, I could blend into a lot of cultures. That, that was, uh, that was foretold. <laughs> Somebody looked at, read me, you know, those reading, spiritual readings, whatever it is. And he said, oh, it's interesting. You can put on the attire of any culture and they'll let you in. And sure enough, it's absolutely true. Very interesting. I guess I should, you know, my beard is growing. I don't really want to get much bigger than this. I get, yeah, I get a girl to New York. Uh, my barber, he, <laughs> he always, like all barbers, they want to do what they want to do. They don't want you to do what you want to do. But I, I'm going to let, this time I'm going to let him do what he want to do. <laughs> He'll be happy. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm so saying there's a certain look, a certain, certain people, a certain size, you know, like I'm not too big. I'm not really too small. Like a, what? I might... I guess I'm like a 145 pounds now. What's that? 70 kilo, whatever it is. Uh, so I'm like an average cat, you know. If I'm in a crowd, you're not gonna notice anything, but then I have to take that back because there's some weird thing that happens with me, especially, I don't know what it is. I must, I just vibe. I think I should ask y'all. 
is the last one. Okay. Almost getting to my, uh, I say I should say resting spot. Well, resting spot. Okay, coming to my last sections. Again, about about now, I'm, feel, I, I'm usually feeling like really happy. Like uh, I just, well, I'm I'm joyous most of the times, you know. But uh, uh and then get this in, this thing in, holy. Spirit. Sorry, I can't sing. Interesting because uh, I finished, I was uh, from 2003 until uh, this, just this year, I was on what I call the unsequestered monk tour. But now I'm in the, the Mystic Wind tour. I would say the Mystic Spirit tour, but that, that spirit tour, but that like messes people up. So it's, I'm in the, in the Mystic a uh, wind tour right now that's going to last quite a while I mean because how long the 2003 to what, 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 how many years 2003 to uh, to 2000 uh, to, uh, 2022 that's 19 years whatever it is <laughs> um so it's like 19 years with the Antiquested Monk Tour. So this is uh, the Mystic Wind Tour. Interestingly enough, I oh, should notice something here. So you got three stones here. Remember the statue over there that has the three lambs? Now see here, see this, like, see, they don't think it goes like a one continuous thing, right? Like that, right? So if we, if we count here, start with this one, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think that's eleven. Twelve. Anyway, there's twelve of them. Somehow, I don't know if I counted right. There's twelve of them around. There's a number three. Interesting. I think it's interesting. Interesting to me. I don't know if I counted that right, but it's, 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 I know it's 12. Because I, oh, the reason why I walk around that is because for uh, the balance thing. Old people, when they get old, they lose their balance, whatever have you. So, uh, I mean, I'm not going to jump on a balance beam. <laughs> but uh, I just use that as a walk in the curb, you know. So... Now this is my spot here. I go up here. I can tell it's coming to the end of this one here. Now here, I used to come, for some reason, this bench got moved a little, shifted a little bit. I don't know how that happened. But I used to sit here, and uh, I was taking my shoes off and put my feet in this grass, but then it's too much 
whatever pew, poo in here. But this is the uh, lake. You see, there's a duck too in there. Is that, or is that this debris? Yeah, I don't see ducks here. It's just geese. Usually there's a some sort of crane I usually see here, like that. But so then I used to sit here and just look at this tree here, sort of meditate on that with the water around. But then I changed. Change is good. Adapting, you know, evolution. That's right, I'm an evolutionary, by the way. So I don't like to sit, have the same routine. I change up every once in a while. Um, I guess that's why I like to travel. And I really have to do a lot more traveling. And I don't really think about money when I travel. So there's a, an issue. <laughs> so, um, here we go. So the, here is the bench I sit on to, uh, for my meditation. And interestingly enough, look at that. See, this is when you know you're in the spirit. And then I, like I said, I, this is a marble thing, so I usually sit on these. Let's see. Let me see how much more left in here. Got some more music left on here. So, um, then what I do here, I'm gonna let the music play. Usually I let the, uh, I don't stop the music, but, and I, and I sit here like a, see a whole, you know how the, 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 the how they do this with, no, they do it like this, you know, they do it like this, right? Not me, I do, I do it like this. And I don't do this. I'm not really meditating. I'm just I'm 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 calming. This I, I do a calming thing. So I just sit like this, and I look at the tree, that tree there, which you know overlooks the lake. Uh, and I just sort of you know be calm and listen to the, I listen to less of the things about whatever. How many minutes is this? This is going to be. Uh, Oh, it's only going to be about two minutes, three minutes. So, hey, I'll see you in about three minutes. I'll talk to you about three minutes. I got to calm myself right now. Check it.
Oh, that was interesting. So, like I said, I, I work in threes. Threes. Let's see. What was interesting about that is as soon as I sat down, the sun sort of came out, washed over me for this little calming. Okay. <clears throat> so that's done. Now I'm going to go to this 57 minute one. To uh, I'll show you where I'm going to go to next. All right. Okay. So I do that. Plus I got to do some uh, do some exercises there. Usually when this if this thing goes off, then I do the exercise without any music. But I'm going to leave it there, though. Okay. Let's go to the next spot. Now, remember when I did the uh, little bit of Qigong? What right that? Well, I'm going to do a little... Well, you'll see what happens. Let's all will be revealed. That's one of my sayings. I like to say that a lot. You know? Especially when I'm in a... <laughs> when I'm doing my audio drama workshops, everybody wants to know ahead of time what's going to happen. And I would always tell them, all will be revealed. Yeah. Okay, we'll put this right here. I might as well put this, no, I'm not going to put this in my pocket yet. Put it right there. I'm sorry, the sun might be glaring you, but this is the way I have to do this. So I'm on this, set if I go over here. Okay, I guess I'll leave you there, right there. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to look at the back because I'm not gonna turn around. I guess I could turn around, but I like to face east, and the east is that way. So, sorry about that. Check you a little bit.
Okay. Now that's sort of like a truncated uh, Qigong Tai Chi. Truncated, just samples. Let's put a sample of Qigong Tai Chi and a um, little bit of uh, shadow yoga. Okay, so this is the new one. I put this about the music. Put it in my pocket here. And we'll finish up on this, the cemetery walk. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, and this is the, uh, you know, the the office. I always find it interesting, but the first time I've never seen a white uh, mailbox, but I guess they have white mailboxes. Now this I usually walk backwards too, on this path here. I will do it. I wasn't gonna, I was gonna spare you because I want you to get the sun in your eyes. <laughs> They're not going to spare you now. Oh, the sun's going. The sun's disappeared. It's interesting. What I've been finding lately, if I'm just calm, if I just, just go on my little road, things happen the way they're supposed to happen, it seems to me. All kinds of signs. And I so have to have to read the signs. I, I guess I have to acknowledge the signs. A lot of stuff, some, I just say the way I pray, you know, I pray different. The way I pray is, um, I just say, praise God, you know, you know, rather praise God. I thank God, praise the Lofi, you know. So I acknowledge, I acknowledge God all the time, or Lofi all the time, whatever you want to say, Yahweh all the time, Have, whatever y'all are doing these days. But I just use those two because I grew up Christian. Uh, well, Christian, I grew up Catholic. Catholic Christians are still different. Catholics like the corporate Christians. <laughs> and uh, I've been exposed to the West African religions, uh, mainly Yoruba. But if I had to choose, if, if you had to choose, I guess it would be Voodoo. You know what I mean? Like, like voodoo because voodoo's I used to tell people uh, voodoo's like Catholic for voodoo like Catholicism is like voodoo for dummies you know so uh, don't worry I'm going off on a because it's Sunday I'm going off on a tangent here now remember we did this walk when we first came in. I'm not gonna do this walk now. We'll see what's gonna happen with that. Now there's a lot of geese poo around here. So I usually don't walk backwards here. See all the geese poo? Yeah, it's there. So anyway, the, the, the whole thing, when you gotta pray five times a day, and if, if you're Catholic, you pray five times a day, because you know, you the three meals, plus you have to pray before you go to bed, pray for when you wake up, you know what I mean? So that's five times a day. And the Muslims do five times a day. You know, people rise to the east to worship the sun, blah, 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 all that stuff, right? Um, and so, what I, what I feel that this done because you want to continue to have a God consciousness as you traverse through the, through the, through this earth. So for me, as long as everything I see, I like, I, I thank God, praise the Lofi, that I found this, that I'm in this, that I'm close enough to this place that I can do this morning walk. This is very unique. Like I said, I don't see people doing this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they're afraid <laughs> that's one thing that's, uh, that, uh, that's been that's worked to my, my advantage for a long time well for a long even now I have 
little fear. No, I, I fear things, but I mean, I don't have fear the way you have fear, you know? But that's me. Everybody can't be you. One thing I learned, talk about walking. One thing I learned. One, one, one of the times I was in Mexico, there was this trip that you take. You go to this place. It's, a, it's the bottom of this mountain. Or what I call it a mountain. This riverbed. Let's put it over there. And you look for peyote, right? And you take the peyote and you climb, basically go up the riverbed. You're basically climbing a mountain. It's a high plains. And now the the... the Autochthonous people, when they find this peyote, they take it because um, that that peyote lets you keep on going. You know what I mean? So I, I, I was with these, this group of people, only black guy, of course, uh, <laughs> definitely only American. Well, I think there was maybe no, I don't think it was other American, black American. Yeah. Anyway, and uh, so I didn't find any peyote, but they gave me some peyote. But what they, what I didn't know, I had been fasting that time was doing during Lent. I had been fasting. And so I took the pie. And usually when you take pie, you throw up. It's like, like quinine, but you throw up. And I didn't throw up. They looking at me like, um, you know, I didn't throw up. And um, so I'm walking, you know, you walk in the riverbed, you walk in the riverbed and there's just the things like that. And what happens is you see the colors, all kinds of colors. The rock was turning or the riverbed, the sides were turning color. It's quite nice. Um, and then I got separated from the group. It's a long story, but I got separated from the group. And uh, it ends up, uh, <laughs> and the only thing I had was my beer and bow and, and a, grape, a grapefruit that somebody gave me. And at some particular point, I couldn't walk anymore, man. I guess the, the peyote wore off and it, it was like I could, well, I just sat down on a rock and oh, opened that grapefruit and ate it. And, it's, and it's people, you know, a guy would, would uh, I guess, supplies for our camp, paying by with some goats and a dog. <laughs> and, and I'm going like, man, the guy, and I said, my, my Spanish, the only Spanish I have. I said, Senor, por favor, mi amigos, por favor. Donde es mi amigos, por favor. And he pointed over there, yes, he signaled for me to get on the back of the donkey. Man, I said, no, uh, it's all right. He just pointed the right direction. And I stayed there to eat my grapefruit. And a dog that was following at the, at the end of the goats, he literally came to me, looked at me, and I swear the dog must have said, brother, I know you're having a hard time. You know, in another, another life, I would probably, you know, ask you for some of your grapefruit, but I see you need it all, so, you know, uh, I wish you luck. And the dog trotted along, right? And sure enough, my you know, my group was over there. But it was a quite interesting. It was like being lost in the field. I, um, the story's been told other times, but it's being like lost in the, in the wilderness, you know? The 40 days or 40 nights kind of thing. What was interesting, I'm sorry, I say one thing. What's interesting about that trip, or well, that experience, was that I was really lost. I was wandering around. Nobody was around. But what I did was, there was a, a, a breeze, a pleasant breeze with a pleasant smell. Let me stay here because there's traffic here. I would I'd say, oh, that's pleasant. Let me go that direction. If I hear a donkey break, so I'm, like, no, I'm not going with that direction. And that's how I ended up on that rock. Okay, this Sunday, this is good. I was trying to tell you about terrain before. The thing about walking, I mean, not just on... I'm not talking about like uh, your Peloton, your Peloton or your, what do you call that? Your, um, you know, your, your, your gym, your, your, your running on the, on, the, on the, whatever you all run on like that. That's a steady, whatever, 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 whatever. But this terrain, when you walk terrain, you walk in different things. So you're always constantly, uh, you know, adjusting. And I think it's a much healthier, I think, I know it's a much healthier walk than just go you know, on the thing. And I have these shoes on right now. These are, these are special, so say special shoes, but they're, they're beautiful shoes, man. I got them in Cape Town. When I go back to Cape Town, I'm getting another pair. <laughs> I'm gonna be stuck on these shoes. Don't get me, you know, it does, I don't know. You feel close to the earth, like where can we walk in barefoot shoes, something like that? And it feels really, really good. So I like walking that. And then when you walk on grass like this, ooh, it's nice. Okay, so now that I've meandered all over. Uh, so now we're, 
again, it's, it's a Sunday morning. I don't know what time it is now. Um, let me see if I can see it on this. No, I should have looked at my other. I, I, actually, I don't look at the times usually. I just keep on walking. Um, and one of these communities. See now, during the week, whatever time it is now, usually be a lot more traffic. But I, you know, I could walk on the street. But like I said, I like the terrain here. Oh, by the way, we just entered Portsmouth. <laughs> uh, we just we left. Uh, see that? There's a see where it says the floods, flood sign there. There's a sign over there. Right, right after the after the cemetery, it says "Welcome to Portsmouth." So, we're in Portsmouth right now. That's, uh, Portsmouth. How do you say it? It's, it's spelled like Portsmouth. But everybody say Portsmouth. Um, I guess they do. They blend the S and the next thing together. They're like Portsmouth, <laughs> like that. So this is actually we're actually in, technically in Portsmouth and not in Chesapeake. I like living on the borders. <laughs> and you know, talk about borders, this is kind of interesting because a lot, of, a lot of, some of the places I've been, well, a lot of, every place, really. You know, because uh, when the, uh, well, the colonizers uh, carved things up, they carved up to their, whatever their proclivity. It's like, it's like gerrymandering, not gerrymandering. Yeah, you got voting, gerrymandering. They just carved up to see the advantage of somebody or another, right? But people don't think like that. You know, people like, hey, you know, I'm, in fact, we're gonna go to pass my food line over here. That's my food line. My food line is real good, you know? Um, they got prices I ain't seen no place else, you know? Beat, beat Walmart, beat Kroger, be whoever else is down here. Uh, Harry Teeters for sure. Harry Teeters is expensive. Uh, so, and, they, and the other thing that, I'm not really that into pizza, but there's this thing called Eastside Pizza. I think it's Eastside Pizza. Anyway, down on, on Smurfett Portsmouth Boulevard. Really good pizza. Every once in a while I, I go there. In fact, now that I mention it, I might get me, cause this is a football Sunday football, hang out with my brother I mean, on a football tip maybe I'll get a I'll get a pizza and bring it to the house uh, I think I have a couple of more Guinnesses left I really haven't been drinking that much lately so so I mean I had some uh, I got a I got a uh, I got a Shiraz wine. Why? Because I was I was I was in Kroger's. <laughs> That's where I was. I was in Kroger's, and uh, they have they have they have like these wines aisles or whatever it is, and um, and uh, I just saw this interesting bottle. Then it says something uh, something joint. I say, wait a second. This maybe this is a black company. Well, they use they might be just doing a black facade, you know. <laughs> so. <laughs> So I went and bought it. It's a Shiraz. So I had it uh, had it last night. Um, had some last night. Had some the had some of the night before. You know, look, when I drink, I, you give me a seven fifty mil bottle, or whatever a bottle of wine. It might take me three to five days to drink that bottle of wine. When if I do uh, my uh, if I do uh, what's the name uh, Guinness, well. You know, I might do two little bottles of Guinness each, each sitting. Or maybe if they have that big bottle of Guinness, they do one big bottle of Guinness. But I'm not really a big drinker. Okay, here we go. Now we come into a... This is always strange to me. Not strange to me. This used to be another kind of... I guess it's Exxon right now, but there was... Something way they got sold out to Exxon, and you see that Joe's Quick Arts, whatever that little store 
Well, it's always been that store, but look, right across from it, they got a 7-Eleven. Ain't that something? So we're on Airline Boulevard right now. For those of you people who need to know. And down that way, it's Portsmouth uh, a Boulevard. Okay, let me walk here. I walk over this way first. Now, usually, I should tell you, usually, like I said, Sunday, I like to go on all the way out here on Sunday because there's less traffic. Saturday sometimes too, but got the red light there. Just let me go. Get here for this GMC truck runs me over. Everybody's got trucks here, man. Okay, now here's the um Sometimes, I should just take you this way, because sometimes, sometimes what I do is uh, these benches, these are rather nice benches. I like the way they, these are very nice benches. They don't get all messed up. I don't know what they use on it. But sometimes, I'll take my rest on this. I'll take a rest on these benches here, you know. They're pleasant like that. So anyway, so of course we have a CVS pharmacy. They've taken over the North America, or wherever they're from. Uh, CVS, Burger King. It's a shame because I remember when they when they had the the, the McDonald's Burger King wars back there in the uh, uh, I guess it's the seventies. Yeah, the seventies. And, uh, and uh, you know, Flame Boy versus, you know, whatever McDonald's was doing. But, man, the Whopper was a much better meat <laughs> than the McDonald's, you know. But I don't know what happened. Like, they, they, the, the, the Whopper thing is going down the Flame Boy grill. I don't know what they're using now, but it's not the same. That's all I have to say. And things have changed, too. Now, here... We have airline marketplace, right? But they see they have a subways. I just found out, because I got not that I do all the stuff for them. But the subway here, they used to have this uh, honey oat bread. They no longer carry that. This is what happens, man. You get something that's really nice. I'm walking over terrain now. I just feel like walking the terrain rather than walking the sidewalk. What, what happens? is you have something good that you like, everybody gets it, then all of a sudden they discontinue it or they try to get it from a cheaper thing. I'll give you a perfect example. I like dark chocolate. And there's, they used to have a, a Milky, Way, Milky Way Midnight dark chocolate. They used to have uh, M&M's dark chocolate, right? And both of those things are no longer available. How is that? Well, I, I know how it is because dark talks talk talk. Of course, more than the milk chocolate, you can dilute the milk chocolate like that. So I guess that's a logical reason. But I mean, come on now. Every time you get get you hooked on something, then they yank it. Yeah, the amorphous day. <laughs> but then again, you just leave it alone. There's a tasty cake. Flowers was the outlet, you know, when the when the, the trucks they will take cakes away from uh, this about to expire, whatever they take it out of so like like uh, away from the um, the food line or the Walmart or whatever it is, and they'll bring it to this stop here, and so of course, course a little bit less, you know, for those of you people that's into tasty cakes, <laughs> alright. Uh, Now, I should tell you about, uh, should I do it? Yeah, I, I'll do it, I'll do it, I won't. I won't scrimp, I won't not do it. Oh, this used to be a, a Rite Aid. We were moving and we packed the prescriptions. So this used to be a Rite Aid, but they closed it down. So, I guess the CVS beat them. <laughs> boom, 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 for CVS. Okay. 
So, just the last, the last little bit of leg of what I, what I do. Sometimes now I walk, or I'll keep continuing down Airline Boulevard all the way down to a place called Roses. It's only about a, a quarter of a mile down there. I do some exercise there, then I'll come back. That's a long one, but I, I don't feel like. Well, usually that may be a Saturday thing. Maybe a Saturday or Sunday thing, but uh, I just don't feel like it. I should say I feel like it, but I'm really not into it. I don't want to, because like I go there, I got to dodge the traffic, you know. So I've started since I've walked so much, you know, a, an hour and a half, you know, 90 minutes, two, two hours is more than enough for your exercise. But since I have that, then I don't really have to take that extra thing in there. I don't particularly like it, tell you the truth. So this is as far as I'll go now and then come back. And then what I've started to do is that during the weekday, Monday through Friday, I guess, then I'll just do, you know, the cemetery and come back. So only on the weekend will I do this extended walk. But I guess sometimes I'm feeling good. Maybe I might do this little extension here, which involves this little parking lot here. I see there's nobody here. This Lowe's, Pro so at Lowe's is the builders here. So I guess this must be some sort of managerial office, something like that. Then down there they have something else. But I, I, I like this particular thing at this particular hour, because as you can see, as you may be able to see, see you got the sun here. Nobody's in a parking lot because it's the weekend, it's Sunday, while it's working. And then you have this here with the shade. You see? In the shade. So I do my last, I guess it is my last, my last backwards walk here on this one here. There we go. Do do. That's what it is. So basically, I end with a very, with a longer, longish, uh, longish walk. Okay. Lowe's Pro Supply. I don't know what that Pro Supply means. Going there sometime. Last bit. Last bit is always the best. The reason why I know it's the last bit is not because of the location, because you can, I can feel my body. My body says, hey man, yo, uh, this exercise thing is good, but uh, I think we need to get back and take a wash <laughs> and, uh, and chill for a little bit, you know? You know, rub yourself down with some uh, shea butter. <laughs> Say, say an almond butter <laughs> lotion. So that's it. I hope this all comes out because uh, I keep on seeing the, the colors change, the shade of where I hold this. Okay. I'll turn around in a second. Maybe I'll take you into what's the name? Oh, yeah. Uh, I cut that short there only because I want to cut through here and go to the food line. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything. I just want to see what they have. I come back later. You know, I drive there later because then I have to haul it all the way back. Yesterday, I was there and I was coming out. I came out of the right before whatever road that is. And my sister was driving the truck because she was driving, uh, she was taking uh, my grandnephew and the dog back to the parents. Let's put that in that. Much to the parents' chagrin. Oh boy, they got their dance. I'm glad I have to be involved with that. They sort of leave me out of everything because they know if they ever put me in there, then, then we gotta think. I got questions. <laughs> I got responses, right? And they can't, they can't, you know, do their normal hustle kind of thing like that. 
I'm just saying, but let me just leave that alone, right? Okay, so here we go. And this is the back of food line. Okay. Well, here's what I'll say about these trucks. You know, you know you're in the South because they have these uh, GMC trucks, these uh, Ram trucks like that. They look like that. And that's uh, one of the vehicles I drive when I'm here. And it's like, it's a Southern thing, you know? I guess they gotta get, pull you out of ditches. Ain't nobody, <laughs> I, I have no idea. Well, I do have an idea. Yeah, it's good for a gun rack. Okay. So this is the back of Sue Fu line. And uh, I'm just gonna go back real quick. I'm not gonna buy anything. Right on time. Let's see what sales they got on. And this is how I found out they had, I got my uh, seeded grapes here. The only place they had it was here. Okay, here we go. Okay. Turn. Slide, ooh, a little windy. Here we go. Check certain things. Yeah, see, seated grapes. They got the seated grapes. I want to get this thing here. I don't know what this is. I want to try this. I don't know what this is. Anyway, so this is what the store looks like. I got, I got a 99 cent uh, avocado yesterday. It was rather nice. But I'm not going to get one now. So anyway, this is the my favorite store. Oh, yeah. Let me show you what. Let me show you something that they got that uh, like they have these things. Oh, they always have this. Like if you're into bread, it's nice pumpernickel bread. Like that, they have some new sourdough. It's like a little small. It's rather nice. Like that. I don't want to move that ladies in my way. They have, uh, you know, they have, they have a really good selection of stuff. I saw something the other day. See, they have all this prepared stuff. Bunch of pickles. Yeah. Who about this lady with the lady with the mask? All the masked people. One of these days before I leave, I got to get one of these little small cases. It's so cute. Maybe not. <laughs> See if they have my favorite cookies. You know, oatmeal raisin, oatmeal raisin. Now, see, they don't have my favorite. There's a, there's a, uh, there's a uh, coconut, whatever, coconut pecan cookie that they usually have. That's the only one that I really get. So, I don't do that. But here's this. Now, notice, they got these here, right? Then they got the no sugar one. And if you look at the thing, these are better if you want to get them. You might as well get the the, uh, no, the no sugar ones. Okay. I want to check one thing that we leave in here. Look at this big boy. It's a boy better get up and start using later and be fat. See, I'm not going to buy any butter. My sister's supposed to buy butter. I don't feel like buying butter. Just do it without it. So, let me go ahead. Let me drop something. Here's what I want to check. Here's what I got to check. Ah, all right, I'm coming back. Two for four dollars. I mean, these are two dollars a piece. Let's see. 229, whatever. Four, four nineteen. Let's do this. Is five? This is the bigger one. It's five something. One, whatever it is. But the coconut water is what I want. But here's the thing I gotta check because I'm leaving. But I want to do it. I got a new. Here's what I want to check. See, June 2023. Good. 
So before I leave up to New York, while they're on sale now, I'm gonna buy a bunch of those and just store it. I'll just store it. Um, I'll just store it. It's good to whatever. So when I come back in October, I don't have to shop for uh, coconut water. That's good. Of course, ain't nobody has my. Uh, well, I haven't had any yogurt anyway because it, 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 you know, I get sheep milk yogurt from uh, from Whole Foods, but I haven't been to no Whole Foods. There's nothing here that I really want like that. But there is. Let's see, we should check this ice cream. Okay, they do have to have two for five, but they don't have. Oh yeah, they have. You know, so the they don't have the all the chocolate chocolate. Man. Okay. I don't mess with that yet, so I don't mess with none of this stuff here. Okay, so I'm done. I just wanted to see if they had the so I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna spend some money on here's the coconut water. I'm stock up on coconut water. Meadows are fresh, it's good to next year, June. So and that's why that's all I do now is I drink coconut water. I mean, you know, I, I drink my water, but I eat my water with the fruit. That's why I want to check those things out. You know, so you have small wine section here. What's the name of the bigger wine section? So, so excuse me. So, like that. Then everybody does the uh, gambling, you know. We gotta get their uh, cards, their uh, lottery. Everybody does a lottery down here in Virginia. And they want to go to the gambling places. And then right there, you, you get your winnings right there. So, like that. This is a nice little uh, shopping center. They have all your necessities. <laughs> like, you know, what a beauty supply and those things. They have, uh, Oh, the the, uh, the head shop. You, know, you can buy some herb if you want. It's legal here. Somebody can buy herb. Uh, Subway, ubiquitous <laughs> Chinese, uh, you know, uh, noodle joint, whatever. Chinese store. You know, Ch Chinese food. Yeah, like it's there. And you can be recruited for the army here. There you go. Okay, so. Basically, my walk is done. Now I head back, and I gotta go back the way I came. Let me move this for a second. This is new. They must be built. They must be doing something with this lot here. Uh, they're gonna build. No, they look like they're resurfacing it. They're not gonna build something. They're gonna resurface it. Uh, okay. I always said that if if you if you was a filmmaker, a film company. What I would do is I would buy the facts that I would buy, then the the or um, well maybe that's too conspicuous. That's better than. But this land here, I would buy and just be like home, uh, a base camp, you know, because there's so many. Like I said, there's a there's back over that way, over that way. There's the the casinos being built. You have all the major high the highways goes well. Let me stop you. <laughs> I was at the Cat Williams thing. There. He said something like, man, you could get lost on roads. <laughs> you could get lost on the roads in, 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 in this area. <laughs> Hampton Roads area, man, Tidewater area. Uh, you need GPS, a good GPS for sure, man, because you don't know what's going on. There's roads all over the place. But there's ways to get to places like this. Anyway, so this, is a, this area right here will be perfect. This this whole thing we purchased for for base camp, and if you bought that building there, the uh, what do you call that the the, the shop the um, the Rite Aid that that's closed down, you could have a really nice kind of situation here. Um, can you do uh, filming all the time because you have access to the you know to, to get to the to film in the casinos and you know I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking, why am I thinking film like that? Like, like, like I'm a location scout. Nah, I'm, I'm just saying, like that. But I don't know what they, they're gonna be doing something here. I don't know what they're gonna make. We'll find out. Well, like I, you know, I, I stopped really. 
I don't really ask a bunch of questions when something's happening like this. Well, you know, you ask to be friendly, you know, to see who 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 in the neighborhood knows what, you know. But um, but usually, what I'm, I just will wait, you know. My little famous saying, "All will be revealed," <laughs> that kind of thing. Okay, so now when I come back, I take this little route back. Mm-hmm. Oh, when I'm not talking to you, it's only because that's a good jam playing. I'm, into, I'm grooving into the music, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, get across the street. This is a busy little thoroughfare here, I'll tell you the truth, because you come off the, the, the highway back that way, and it's just a just a little thoroughfare. And then I kick this back. This is a church, I guess, too. 11 a.m. 11 to 12. Oh, that's good. Church of God. Church. The Church of God of Prophecy. Hmm. Anyway, I cut through there. On my way back every day. I cut through. Hey there. Now, generally, I, I do this walk every morning, but sometimes I just don't. Um, it just depends on how I feel. It's like, uh, you know, it's not how I, it's like, it's almost like what, it's like prophecy for me. But it's like what, not even what I feel, it's like, what the spirit, <laughs> whatever, for me to do. Okay, so I walk through here. So this is the back thing for this church. See, my thing with ch- with church, well, at least my. See, the thing is, um, uh, as quote, well, like Miss Neely Fuller Jr. says, I'm an eclectic pluralist. That's just a fancy way of saying I'm a deist. But I'm an eclectic pluralist. But also, under my year, my uh, spiritual advisor. I can't belong to any church, any denomination, if you will. I can visit, <laughs> and I visit. I mean, I've been to the holy city of Tuba, you know? I've been to, you know, Buddhist temples in in, in Thailand and, and, and in Laos and stuff like that. I've been to, you know, I've, I've been to the Vatican, <laughs> prayed, in a, prayed in the Sistine Chapel, uh, bathed in the Ganges River. <laughs> Man, went to a voodoo ceremony, right? Authentic, that is. Um, I mean, uh, Europe, Europe, uh, uh, Condomble in Brazil. I mean, I've had a lot of religious experiences. Some, some I don't even remember. I shouldn't say it like that. But uh, oh, quite interesting. Let's put it that way. Hindu temples all over. Been around. That's why, uh, you know, the mystic spirit, well, the mystic wind, like that. So I generally try to live my little existence right now, um, reading signs. That's what I said, just just reading the signs. Uh, or obs- I shouldn't say reading the signs because that takes, that takes some interpretation. I absorb, I absorb, and when it goes into into my being, and if we, if, if, if like a lot of people say, you know, every being, we, we all, all we, all you are as a being, is, uh, is God having a human experience. So, when I absorb those things that God in me is having a human experience, then interprets it or moves me where I need to be moved. You know how some, you know how they, I always tell you all the time. There's a, I got this from Frederick K. Price. Uh, peace and blessings on his eternal soul. Uh, I used to, <laughs> been to temples, the tabernacles. Uh, I used to watch Frederick K. Price in the 80s. And I'd have a joint. It's like a Saturday morning, Sunday morning, watch him on TV and smoke a joint because he's funny. I said, oh, that's, that's interesting, you know. Anyway, uh, he has this thing, you know, 
it's just congregation, his followers, everything. We walk by faith, not by sight. But most but Christians, they don't believe that. <laughs> you can forget that. They lying, man, you know. Because <laughs> if that happened, never mind, I won't get into that. But I actually do walk by faith, not by sight. So this walking is important. I guess it's symbolic also. Um, but it's like, see, it's, the other thing in walking in a morning like this, and not that I'm planning my day. I, I, I guess I planted 10 poles, you know. And I, I'm not, I'm not, the, the tempo that I'm not really digging into the ground. I'm saying, that would be nice if this tempo was here and there. Like, for instance, like I talked to you earlier, I think that I want to get a pizza from this uh, East Side Pizza, whatever it is, spend the money, get that, and bring that back to the house because uh, uh, for the football game and uh, share it with my share it with my brother, you know? So that's what that's what's in my head because that came to me. But that may or may not happen, you know? Why? I don't know. May or may not happen. I have no idea. So we'll see what happens, you know? Because I just, I, I, I walk to earth. <laughs> I walk to earth. There's some, some emails I got to put out today. I figure out when, when I'm going to stay in New York while I stay with my brother in New York. But there's things I have to do. Call people. See, now you see the traffic is picked up. Now I'm walking on the other side of the street from where I was before. Again, walking this terrain, different terrain, you gotta always adjust. Your body is adjusting to terrain. I guess it's almost like being on a as close as thing would be like a trampoline, you know, but I don't even know if that's that would be accurate. But walking a different terrain is much and feeling uh, uh I guess you're massaging your feet differently too when you do it this way. Oh, I should have jumped across the street earlier. I see traffic coming. Let's see what I can do here. Okay. Got to pay attention to the traffic. Just fairly uh, considerate in the, in the States, you know. They don't want to run you over. Oh, traffic. Let me stay here for a second. I can't see what's over the other side. There's a little creek here. See a little creek? There's some sort of... No, oh, see, welcome to the port. Hey, there's a sign. See a little creek here. Okay, now I'm gonna run across the street. Real quick. All right. Now, remember, we came out of the cemetery and here, look at this. Welcome to Chesapeake. I never noticed this sign because the thing's always, that's right, when you're driving, you never see, if I'm walking it all the time, I have never noticed this sign. Welcome to Chesapeake. See, and then right there is the Portsmouth sign. There you go. Let's see, you learn something new. I've been walking this for I don't know how long. How many years did I come down here? I said, put that. And I've never seen that sign. Ain't that something? And if you're driving, you never see that sign if you if you if you're driving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we're back. Remember we walked up this path here? And we're back. We finished my walk. 
the cemetery. Look at this. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Thank God, praise the Lord. Hey, how y'all doing with those pronouns or whatever? You, know, you can't, you can't call somebody this or that or blah da 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 da. Wonderful world we're living in. When people, this is this is the like I said, I'm not against the internet at all. But you know, somebody's on the internet and they say something. So what? That don't mean that you have to listen to them. <laughs> you don't have to, you know, if you're over nine years old, like I said, if you're over nine years old, then <laughs> why would you listen to somebody else that's over nine years old? They may not know more than you. And that whole elder, the elder thing is interesting because uh, as a uh, <laughs> Professor Black Truth <laughs> once said, there's olders and there's, there's olders and there's elders. Some people are just olders, you know. I mean, if somebody's been a, 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 a not, 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 not against winos, but I'm going to say winos because that's better. If somebody's been a wino all their life and they've been inarticulate all their life, eh, versus somebody's, I don't know, travel and is articulate, eh. And some things you listen to the wino, some things you listen, but more things you listen to the, the traveler, no? Okay, remember this path here? So this path here, and this is my last, so that's my little last stretching path. Now I could go back to the uh, walking park and do some stretches there, but I don't know. I just like the walking part in the beginning. I don't like the walking part at the end. If I want to do additional walking, then I can walk around Ohoy Acres is where uh, where I live. Uh, more specifically, where my sister lives. I, then I live all over the planet, so whatever. And I got to travel, man. I feel like I got next year, I've got to do some better travel. I'm waiting for one thing to happen. If this thing happens, then I'm off. I'm moving. Woo. So this is the last. So I come here. <clears throat> ah. And then this is the last one. Forgive me for putting the sun in your eyes, but that's what's got to be done. Hey, look at that, a buggy. A buggy on my thing, Tits to Ride. Bye. Don't worry, I didn't kill it. Just hit it. There's armor on the skin. This could be my last, no, I don't want to do it. See, the, uh, it's too, um, too much uh, whatever poo, so I'm not gonna walk back with it. And of course, we see the American flag. People feel so much about the American flag. How does how Smith and Neely Fuller put it? I relate to the flag the same way it relates to me. I'm 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 I'm, I'm paraphrasing him, but uh, it's a really good thing. Flag is just a flag. It don't mean nothing. To be an American don't mean nothing, you know. And if you is truly, I'm, I'm let me go. Mr. Smith. I guess I'm, I'm talking about Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. because this is the uh, scripture day. He's um, the compensatory concept is my is my scripture. You know, some people have their their their, uh, 
you know, the, the holy books. Well, my holy book is Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book, The Code. Oh, well, I got something in my f f shoe. Oh, man, now I got to sit down and take this out of my shoe. So this is the last path I walk. Past the American flag. Or I should say, past the red, white, and blue. Then again, there's a lot of red, white, blue. The stars and stripes, let's put it that way. This might be the end of the... Did I walk for an hour? Thank you. DJ Spivey. Now, if I ever run into the... I need, like, I'm an old man. I don't really go to clubs. But if there's a place that DJ Spivey is playing, I'm definitely going to hang. <laughs> i just be in a corner. I'll make like I'm delivering something. I don't know. I won't get on the dance floor. And Bassy. Which is interesting, the dance floor is a very interesting place, at least for me. I listen to a bunch of people. One of the people I listen to is uh, 5150, even though lately they, they keep on ranking. I don't know what Corey's doing. But uh, I listen to some people just to get a little nugget here and there. Uh, usually I just catch clips of people. But 5150, for some reason I do that. Uh, of course, Miss Neely Fuller Jr.'s uh, show. I, I, I listen to that whole thing. Uh, but, uh, you know, people get rutted, you know? I'm really not into, uh, I mean, I, I check out Max Kai's every once in a while. Joe Rogan, get the clips. People get clips on, you know? Uh, when, uh, when, uh, Professor Black Truth is not talking about the, uh, it's not talking about uh, <laughs> the neo-Nazis that we're locking up, which I find, no, Professor Black Truth is very important, because he's got the history, whatever have you. Every once in a while, I, I check out uh, Tyreek, because I just like to hear what, <laughs> Tyreek, you poor people. I did Tyreek's uh, thing. Oh, see, see, it ended right there. Look at that. Oh, let me take, there's something I got into my shoe here. Yeah, see? Got that out. Oh, these are bamboo socks, man. That's my new thing. Bamboo socks. I'm trying to get, uh, what do you call it, hemp underwear. I saw that on, on Instagram one time, but I haven't really looked at it further. Okay, so see, that was a whole, I finished. See how this works? This, look, this is what I'm talking about. It works. I don't know how it happens, but. This is divine, you know, because right when I'm finished my walk, that's finished, right? So now what I'll do is I'll go, oh, there's this thing. Let me stay with DJ Spivey. There's this thing he did. Uh, where is it? Where is it? It's called uh, Double Nickel. I guess it's because he's 55 years old or something like that. He must have been 55 or something like that. But it starts with just like a samba or whatever, some, some, something deep that I really, really, really like. So, uh, so I'm finished here. Um, I guess I could do my last. Just a second. You'll stay right where you are. Let me not do that. I don't feel that over there. I'll do my last uh, last thing before I do that. If I can do that before I leave. Okay, let me hit this. I'm going to do this thing I told you about. Oh, I love this. It's like a, it's like a samba. It's a really nice. Um, it's so beautiful. It's called DJ Spivey. Look it up. D Double nickel. He starts out with this thing. This piece is so beautiful. I love this thing. Says I play it all the time, and then I dance with it too. I love it. Ah, I love my life. I'm having a good time on this planet, especially this time. I can't even say I'm glad I lived so long, or this long, I should say that way, because 
I don't know why. I, I don't think about things like I don't think about living, not living, whatever, whatever, whatever. All I think about is like the third infinity. What I'm doing now. Oh. Ooh. It's beautiful. Oh, come on, dance with me. So beautiful. Music. Hey, music will save your life. Give you joy. Find your joy. coming up. You see, the, the, I walked back. This is the back of that place where all the image and everything is. And it has, uh, well, it's the shade here. Oh, that's what I should tell you. Uh, yeah, I've been talking to you this whole time. Well, most of this whole time. Uh, but when I am, you know, just doing the music or just walking, I hum. Um, it's like a again it's an internal massage I think people have to you have to pay more attention to your your innards <laughs> I know everybody wants to be beautiful outside that's good but so so sometimes well a lot of time when I do these walks and I have a music on I'll hum I'll hum and then I try to move the hum, I move the, the vibration in, in, you know, all, all through my body, you know? Because remember, hey, for you Bilbikins, <laughs> first it was the word. Now, nah, wait a second, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, I interpret that a different way. First it was vibration. Everything is vibration. And even like when I'm doing that thing that I told you about the Qigong thing, where you, you, you're, you're sending, um, vibrations sound whatever to your uh, to your bones to for your red your red corpuscles to uh, to to start whatever have you that's vibe everything is vibration look I used to be a lab technician uh, yeah and this is a long time ago but I had occasion to look through an electronic microscope everything is vibrating rock a rock is vibrating everything is vibration <laughs> So forget that word, you trying to get the word. No, you were trying to get the vibration. Huh? That's what you want to get. Oh. Uh, so, oh, let me go back and let me go now and we'll do the, um, I guess we'll do the, uh, man, let's, uh, we'll do the Instagram for the morning. Now, sometimes I walk, we're in a place called Ohio Acres now. Sometimes I walk other things to go, to go back, you know, other, other ways through these streets, you know, people's houses. One time I was walking, somebody was cutting grass, you know, grass coming, cutting grass. And he says, oh, you, you, you be careful going down there. He said, no, you shouldn't go down there. There's a, a dog, a, a pit bull running loose. <laughs> so I just turned around and went the other way. So that was, uh, that's what I'm trying to say. I think that, I think the reason why I don't have a whole, I don't have fear 
is because to me, whatever's happening is happening. <laughs> I can't stop it from happening. And what's supposed to happen, happens. And that's the way I roll, you know? You know how when you're young, come and say, well, what do you want to be when you grow up? I don't know if I've ever, I guess I must have answered that question, but I never was hooked up on that. What do I want to be? What do I want to do next? It's never about that. It's, it's exactly what I said. It's like, uh, it's, it's, it's like I walk by faith, not by sight. Whatever's supposed to happen, in other words, that, that God that's within me, if you want to, if you want to put it that way, I guess that 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 force, that really that God, I'll say God, that God that's within me says, hey, oh, you going down there? Let's see what's down there. <laughs> oh, no problem. So I go down there, or the, or it says, say, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how. It, well, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like. Uh, I guess we're talking on a Sunday, so I'm preaching here. Um, but I think what happens is I just, it's not to even ask, again, I have conversations with myself. I mean, in, internal conversations. And uh, I will make up my mind to do this or that, catch that train, go on that day, whatever it is. So that maybe that I'm having a conversation with the, the God that's having a, an experience within me. And they say, oh, cool, you wanna do that? Let's go. <laughs> I don't worry about it, you know. And if I ever get into a situation and that God within me can't get me out of where, I don't know. Whatever happens to me is supposed to happen. That's it. And what I've been doing, what I've, what I've come to try to be doing lately is I really want to get my body together. So I'll be concentrating on that. But I really, I don't want to, I don't want to talk to people. Any, I shouldn't say that word. I'll talk to people, of course, because I'm a talker. Yap, 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 yap. A uh, three, you know, neurology, I'm a three. Cancer, three. We're loquacious. Threes are loquacious. But I guess what I want to say is, I talk to people when they want to talk to me. I'm more interested in trying to get my body together and see what's going on with that. And, uh, and some little things that I have to do. And of course, my work in South Africa, uh, or my, I wouldn't say work, I don't work. My tasking in South Africa is what, uh, is what interests me right now. And this exploring the third infinity, that's the whole thing. Uh, and I can't worry about things, I just gotta to do things, you know, as they hit. Uh, and, uh, that's what's happened. So let me tell you, uh, let me now we're at the end of the thing, let me explain to you one thing. The reason why I wanted to do this and the reason why I realized that I'm doing a lot of things on uh, what I post on YouTube, it's not for you. <laughs> oh, you think everything's about you. <laughs> and when I say it's not for us, it's not for, I'm not, I don't look for no likes, no shares, nothing like that. Here's the way I figure. Because of circumstance, I won't get into it right now. Sometime I might do it, right? Um, I have children. Right? <laughs> I said children, plurals. And uh, for for whatever reasons, whatever reasons, I'm estranged from all of them, right? Well, some I never knew. It. That's not the point. They're going to have grandchildren. Well, I have grandchildren, right? And what I figure is this. They never knew me. They didn't know me. And uh, my great, my grandchildren, my great grandchildren, somebody, somebody gonna come up and hit this and say, I, "This is what?" And then they're gonna start researching me. And I'm just giving them something to research <laughs> from my perspective. Of course, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put bad things on there. I'm not gonna say bad things about me. So when they looking, when people are looking to research me and, and saying, "Who is this guy? What did he do? Whatever it is," well. This is a living record. So there it is. So the reason why I do YouTube and let it be, be archived also on BitChute and uh, even do Instagram, I don't do, you know, I hear that, was it Twitter? Twitter, that's, that's the beef, <laughs> that's the beef people, you know? Uh, uh, I don't do those kind of things. The Facebook, I'm not really interested in. I never was interested in Facebook. I'm not, I don't have anything to sell. I'm not trying to be a part of groups anyway. 
So those those are the two things I do. YouTube, well, YouTube, and by extension, bitch shoot. And, um, and, uh, and Instagram. And that satisfies me for the records that I want to wanna do. There you go. So that's it. And then, then you know, lately I've been really cutting down on my uh, people. I've been checking out YouTube because I realize some people just want to start beefs. You know what I mean? The instigators, you know? It's, a, it's an instigation place, you know? Everybody wants to instigate and beef and, I'm going to say troll. I don't like that word. But, you know, make their mark, clout chase, <laughs> whatever it is. Uh, show off what they think they know, <laughs> and, and never apologize when they when they realize they were they were uh, how do you say incorrect. <laughs> so that's the that's the story. Okay, now we're getting back to our bees. Uh, it was a good walk. Good having you on this movie. It's not going to end right now. Because like I said, I got to put up the... Um, I got to put up the... Instagram. In fact, that's what I'll go do right now. I want to thank DJ Spivey. <laughs> And um, thank you for, if, if you ever, if for some reason, you found it to go through this entire journey of what I'm doing. And that's what it is. This is the truck I usually drive. Back by the, well, I might as well show it to you. This truck I, I drive on here, back by the classic Mercedes that I drive also. These things, I don't mess with these things. There's a, well, my sister's out with the, uh, Range Rover. I don't do the Rover. And this is a Harley Davidson motor. This truck here, my brother's. I don't do that. This is my favorite truck, but it's not working. I guess if I had money and I was here, I'd try to get that working. Okay. Now we're here. Now, now we got to get ready for uh, to Instagram. Uh, Oh, I gotta change everything, I just realized. Oh no, I don't. Keep that right where it is. Oh no, I gotta change this because this has my other thing. Okay, now we're back to the making of. <laughs> okay, let me uh Okay. I gotta change things here. This this has got to go on here. That's got to go on there. See, I have a... This was really on here, but I'm not going to put it on here because the, the uh, Instagram has got to be vertical, you know. So what I'm going to do is take this off of here. Oh, no. Yeah, take this off of here. Right. Uh... Well, better leave this like this. Take this down like this. Uh, be careful with this. Mm, come on, get off the. There we go. Then I put this on here. Sorry for this. Put this on here. Well. I don't want to lay this down and I don't want to turn it around because it might mess up. You know, it might try to flip or something like that. There we go. Okay. Put that on there. Put this on this stand here. Put this on this stand here. My little plastic stand that broke several times but I put that Gorilla Glue on it. Hey, that Gorilla Glue really works on plastic, at least. Be careful with it. I think I might look for something else. Okay, I won't even plug. I got a microphone on here, but I'm not going to plug it. 
I'm not going to plug it in. But then I put this one together on here. Oh, it's hot. It's getting hot. Uh, I still got DJ Fivey playing. I keep it going. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Incense. Light the incense. I guess this is like a incense. I think it was a Northern Africa. They started incense around a Morocco area. I hear. Well, maybe I'm wrong with that. But anyway, I should have had incense other places. So. And then in the Yoruba culture, you don't blow flames out. You're supposed to do it like that. That was a flame I think is going. Put that, put that thing. Incense, get rid of the bad spirits, right? Ooh, I'm, I'm hot. Let me take this thing off. Oh, I should get my... Uh, Hey, can you all wait a second? I just want to get something to drink. Uh, oh, yeah, this is my Nubia sweatshirt. Well, thing shirt. Yeah, let me uh, be right there. Don't move, okay? I'll be right back. Look at the flag or something like that. I just got to get something to drink. Come on. See, again, this is a Simply Truth organic uh, coconut water. But I don't really like this that much. Uh, I like that one that I showed you at the Food Lion, the C2O coconut, that coconut water. I like that. Not juice, coconut water, I should say. No sugar added. want that. Ah. Yeah, this taste is not to my taste, my liking. What country, but what, what country is these coconuts from? Distributed Kroger's or Kroger Company, Philippines. Ah, I don't know about the Philippines. Okay, uh, all right. So, Spivey, we're through with you. Oh, it's 9.24. What did I leave it? 6.24? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Been out for three hours. I hadn't realized, been out for three hours. Literally, I've been out for three hours. Um, okay, so I gotta oh, take these off. Oh, where are my glasses at? I need glasses. Oh man, I gotta run in for the glasses now too. I, I can't start my thing without the glasses, did I? I didn't do any glasses out here. I glasses out here. Okay, hey, be, be right back. I gotta get glasses for you. Okay. Uh, talking about.
about Joe Burrow being sacked 13 times in two games. It's not that Joe Burrow sacked. The the, uh, what, what, the offensive line, the coach. <laughs> I don't even play the players. The coach ain't doing something right. Okay, so I got the glasses. <sighs> See? Okay, now we can. Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. Oh, I don't even have a thing. Who's this? Reggie's with somebody. Paul's daughter. I don't know what that means. Okay, Reggie. Okay, okay, wait. Okay. I, I truly don't know what I'm going to say. So this is a making of what, I don't know what I'm going to say. Let's see what comes out of my mouth. We walk by faith, not by sight. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Do ti da ta ta da pum pum ta da pum 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 I don't like the way this is going. Let me turn that off. I don't like that. Something's wrong. I don't like that at all. What's going on here? Oh, it's not on. I forgot. What happened was I have it on airplane mode. And so it was on airplane mode then you know you don't pick up the internet right now I now I got it right uh, okay make sure this thing is don't have no phone calls coming in ah learn something new all the time okay now it's out of airplane mode Instagram, it's me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to the bed. Just took my Sunday morning walk. It is a Sunday, so I should be preaching, shouldn't I? Because you all you all like them preachers, right? Hey, preachers, me and preachers, we do not get along. But let me tell you something personal, right? No, I shouldn't say that. No, that's too personal because, you know, man. No, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say it anyway. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's the thing. Oh, yeah. Just finish my morning walk. Let me turn my, my Bluetooth off. Sorry about that. My first son, <laughs> right? <laughs> he had this whole arrangement, like, you know. Anyway, my first son, um, Yvonne's son. Uh, 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 uh. We go along rather nicely, you know what I mean? I really wasn't, but he would come by and visit visit my grandmother all the time, blah, blah, blah. but then she hooked up with this preacher, right? And this preacher insisted that, you know, he, she, she don't bring the child over to my grandmother anymore and whatever have you. So anyway, I lost contact with that whole situation. So that's my thing about preachers. A preacher is a preacher. A preacher, a preacher, pimp, hustler, whatever you want to call it. We have it's all kinds of things. Now, if you were a preacher that ain't that even if they're preaching right, they're preaching wrong because they don't know, because they don't do no further study. What works for them, works for them, you know? And if you're going to do a pros, and I, I love with all these prosperity preachers, so funny, yeah? My preacher, if, we're gonna do, if I was going to do a pro prosperity preacher, I would do the the granddaddy, the, the, the grand poobah, the original prosperity preacher, that's Reverend Ike. At least he was honest. He was a pimp. I want to say, when I say pimp, I mean pimp in a pejorative sense. Ooh, pejorative. Brother said a big word. He probably don't even know what it means. Anyway, meaning that, hey, in the sense of like just a, a label. It's a, you know, and, and, and I think Reverend, I was, Reverend Ike is cool. You know what I mean? He's cool. But these other people that, that, that him and her and they, and, they, and they deceive you and they be saying one thing and doing another thing. I was just talking, I, in my walk, I was 
I think this is a special, uh, if you see the making of, it's a long making of. I think it's like three hours of making of. I don't know how it's going to do on YouTube. That's going to be on YouTube. Anyway, that making of, I, 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 I pointed out that, um, uh, that, 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 that these, these preachers, that we, they call them preachers, or whatever they, they call them, they do, they do what they want to do. They do, they, they do their own thing. And I don't understand how they can get away with it because they don't study any further than what they know. That's the whole problem. They don't go any further than what they know. And, and they don't know nothing. They don't want to, if, and they, they, they reveal something, they, they, they don't change. You know what I mean? They'll, they'll go with it all the way. I mean, a perfect example, again, I was talking about, I used to listen to uh, uh, Frederick K. Price, right? We walk by faith, not by sight, right? And uh, he was great. I loved him. When, when he wanted to do the, the whole black thing, right, they, 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 then, you know, the people come down on him. In fact, there was a guy with Oral Roberts, a black guy with Oral Roberts, but he went astray from the Oral Roberts, that, that kind of Christian teaching. Man, he got condemned, you know, he, basically he said there was no hell or something like that. Anyway, back to Frederick K. Price. So, you know, I love that guy, you know. To me, he was, he was funny. If I even went to one of his, his thingies, you know what I mean? Uh, a guy shook his hand, talked to him, hey, like that. Uh, I won't tell you what, yeah, I'll tell you what I said. I said, hey, you, Richard Price should pray you in a movie. He said, we don't do that, brother. <laughs> it was funny. Anyway, all I'm trying to say, and then, then, then they, they have a legacy, you know what I mean? Uh, or, or people take over their legacy, and 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 they they mess it up. Um, the the guy that invited me to South Africa when I first came in 2003 uh, to do a workshop in audio drama, uh, he used to on his on his bumper sticker of his car, he had to say, uh, "Lord, deliver me from your disciples." That's it in nutshells. Deliver me from your disciples. These disciples know nothing. Okay, so. Um, my my uh, the, the guy that I learned most of religion of when I was in uh, uh when I, we, I took extension courses when I was in the Air Force we had these uh, extension courses from uh, Trenton State College and uh, Dr. Roy Clouds is this philosopher uh, he, he that's where I learned uh, we did, he did logic um, history of philosophy and comparative religion and so one time we asked him well you know because of the way the class was you know you realize say like, hey this this is a bogus stuff right and so he said i think he said he was a, a methodist or something like that whatever he was he was a why do you go to church he said oh for community so there you are if you're going to hang out with a with, you could if you're if you're if, if the person in charge of community is pimping you or is pimping the situation well well <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Okay, so I just want to, I don't know why I wanted to tell you that. I just had to, because it's a Sunday, right? In fact, to tell you the truth, when I get back to South Africa, I'm sort of going to be a, uh, I, I, I'm not a preacher, but I'm, I'm sort of going to be delivering the word as I see it, you know? Just thought I'd let you know that ahead of time. I'm preparing myself physically, mentally, you know, spiritually, because, you know, I'm right now, I'm in my, uh, the mist. I'm in my mystic wind phase of, 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 of life, you know, and it has to do with like trying to get my body together like that. And I learned some stuff about it. Oh, did you know oh, one, one, one last thing? Sorry, sorry. I saw it, on, it, I saw it on Instagram. I think I saw it on Instagram. The guy was saying that a lot of things with blood, high blood pressure has to do with the oils. You got to cut oils out because the oils do some coat something and do that. I don't know what it is, but all I know is that I guess, okay, when they say, I guess when we say when olive oil or whatever have you, the straight oils like that when you do an oil, like for instance, I usually do a little coconut oil and swish around my mouth in the morning, but he says the coconut oil is not good for you. I'm going like, oh man, I got to figure this out. We'll see what happens. Dude. Next few months, I'm going to find out a lot about, about, about stuff. You know, I got to do my due diligence. All right. And so should you. All right. Okay. Talk to you all later. Bye. I said, bye. Don't want to leave. Okay. So that's it for that. That's it for them. Should I? I should say, I'm going to say something about pre preaching due diligence. Uh, the, the brother, uh, brother, That a brother talks due diligence.
talks about talks about pimping preachers. Says says some things about uh, pimping preachers. Yeah, P I M P pimping. I'm gonna put pimping. Pimping preachers. I won't capitalize preachers. P R E A C H. Pimping preachers. I, I'm, I'm going put a capital P for preachers. Yeah. Pimping preachers. Yeah. Location Western Branch. Answer series. Uh, in the morning, done, and this year will go up. Oh, Randy Criticos. Oh, I see. Um, What's name is hanging out with uh, Reggie's hanging out with Randy Critico. We try not to talk about politics and social issues in this country and the world in general, but thank goodness for alcohol. Oh, they were drinking. <laughs> I want to write a comment. Don't believe you ain't talked about. No, you expect me. No, I'll put and. Yeah, you expect me to believe believe y'all why y'all ain't Talk about, put about, B O U T, about, then put dot, dot, dot. Okay, let me put a, now put it at the beginning, put one of those things, a skeptical. Yellow emojis. I gotta get a black emojis, man. I don't know. I'll put the one with the glass post. Okay. I like Reggie. Reggie's still, still trying to hustle a meal from Reggie. See what happens. Craig's been, uh, Craig Harris has been uh, posting stuff. Oh, Farrell Sanders passed. We'll hear about that. Okay, right, this is place. September 24th. I missed that. Get out of here. Well, Lisa's on Instagram now, so I can get the pray. Uh, okay. Oh, that's it. I'm sorry. I kept you longer than I wanted to. <laughs> since you, since if you get this far, <laughs> I, I'll bless you, as they say. Talk to you later.